Hello, and welcome to Admit One. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I just had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say it in a funny way, and I hadn't decided before I started. Today it. we'll be discussing Mario. <laughs> Is it the pizza you had? Yes, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the voice that we've heard nothing like before. Chris Pratt's voice. That didn't sound anything like Chris Pratt's voice. I wasn't saying I was doing Chris Pratt's voice. I I'm don't understand. He he came out and said that I his understand. Mario voice is like nothing we've ever heard before. Mm. I do and understand. And then he just went, it's me, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> have you not seen the Mario trailer no it's literally just Chris Pratt talking no, yeah. really. mildly problematic accent yeah. mild like, yeah as in it's prob- the accent's problematic but it, it's mild yeah it's, it's, there, it's like, mild so it's not and strong enough go. to be really problematic yeah. <laughs> right because yeah. let's uh, go yeah yeah pretty much that's really annoying it, it really irritated me because like Mushroom Kingdom here we come <laughs> and it's like could they have not found an Italian actor? I do just want to point out, we are talking about the wrong video That's game. That's right. But, but also, you know they're about to go. Hmm. And that's why they say Mushroom Kingdom here. We can arguably, considering they're sitting on giant mushrooms, they're there yeah. mm-hmm. already. But also, would that not have been a perfect time for Let's Go? <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> Mario catchphrase. Anyway, we're here to talk about Sonic, not Mario. <laughs> 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 anyway, yes, we are here to talk about The Last of Us. It is finally here. I believe one of your first proper podcasts. On it was the my show. first yeah, ever was podcast. Talking about this. Yeah, it was on Press Start. Um, but yeah. It wow. was it was talking specifically about the fact the that there was yeah. a show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it is only right that he is here to discuss it with us. Thank you. Um but we'll just go around. I haven't. In- no, it doesn't matter. We all know who we are. There's only two of you. Um- <laughs> <laughs> what did you just press? I just turned to lower third. Oh, I see. I thought you like clip. I was like, for us insulting ourselves. The save clip button doesn't work for some reason. Oh, I, I see. Why. I see. Excellent. Well, something has to not work. It's a rabbit hole. It's, it's a rabbit hole show. So, um, not the rabbit um, hole show. It's shut rabbit up. Rabbit Awful joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's go around and discuss our general thoughts of The Last of Us Episode 1. Something about darkness. When, when, you fight, when you're lost in the darkness. When you're lost in the darkness. Light, isn't it? Yeah. The episode was called When You're Lost oh, in the okay. Darkness, which is the beginning yeah, yeah, of the... Really. I assume episode 2 is called Follow the Light. Is it? Look for the light. Yeah, it's follow the light. They fucked that up. Look for the light. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Follow the Light. Oh, yeah. If you tell me you're going to look... Tell me to look for the light and break your... Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. I'm just having. This is this is the clot in the Jack's brain. Jack's having a mild stroke. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the clot in the brain all over again. Uh, huh? I think you were going the same way as I was going. Oh, sorry. oh you no, weren't there. For oh, right. <laughs> you didn't see that last week, did you? No. There's yeah. a line in Thor: The Dark World that for ten years I have thought was clot in the brain. I've right. got a clot in the brain, or right. I had a clot in the brain. I, I found out and was ridiculed, um, but it's I had a god in my brain. Well, my dad thought since ever the song came out, the lyrics to um, Smooth Criminal were, Eddie, are you okay? And he was very indignant about it when we told him you were wrong. He was wrong? Yeah. Mm. I admitted defeat on the motherfucking show. That was like the first thing I said. I'm not having that. Anyway, what are your general (laughs) thoughts on The Last of Us Episode 1, Chris? I don't want to go first, thank you. Well, I picked you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Fine, Charlie. Um, it was a bit fucking excellent, wasn't it? I had a br- sorry. I had a brief moment where I forgot you had a foldable phone, <laughs> and I just thought your phone is fucked. <laughs> 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 anyway, proceed. Uh, yeah. Oh my good god! I fucking adored it. I really loved it so much more than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to like it. Uh, Lied it even more. Um, I, I really, I really enjoyed it. it was, I felt it was a bit of a bait and switch with the opening. Like, I'm not going to get into, we're not going to plot yet. Uh, but I really, really did enjoy that. Um, I, it had me, even though I knew what was coming on the edge of my seat in anticipation. 
Uh, we watched it. Lizzie and I, Lizzie's a big fan of the game, watched it with her dad, who's never played the game, and he was like, fuck, I don't know, what's going on here? He's, he loves a sci-fi sort of thing. Um, he's very into... Um, <laughs> sci-fi is strong. But yeah, 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 let me finish. Let me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let me think finish. I ever finish this sci-fi. Uh, and he's uh, he, he's he, 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 into very much... Um, Sci- sci-fi and sci-fi horror things like Alien that kind of going thing going in so hard he, on the sci-fi he really <laughs> likes the yes can he fucking interrupts me so I think he's starting again you dickhead um, and uh, yeah we've always been so big into like this whole zombie sci-fi clip stuff as well <laughs> Jack what do you think <laughs> the science fiction this is I, I know I know I know I just, I just like the joke it's just not what we would. Do. Sci-fi isn't necessarily pew pew lasers. No, I know. I just. But, but it was, I but, enjoyed it but, as well, Dory. Pick on. Carry on. Sorry. Yep. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Someone loved sci-fi. That was what you thought of the joke. Yes. Um, no. Um, no. It, it was. That was. It was really cool to watch. It was somebody who has an interest in this type of, of, of medium, but not video games. And I was always really interested to see how non-gamers would would react to this show. And um, it was cool experiencing that story or a version of that story with somebody for the first time who had no affiliation to any of them. And him going like, that's not the girl from the from the trailer. That's not the... And I was like, but when I played, that's not the girl from the cover of the game. Like having those reactions, it was just very interesting. So I was glad, I was glad he was there with us. Um, but yeah, um, it did not feel like 18 minutes to me. It felt like 20. It just flew by. Um, yeah, until we get into plot, I haven't really got much else to bring to the table to be completely honest so that's a fair Chris so go I don't want to go second uh, this is tough now so uh, no no I, I please I genuinely want you to go first this is because he wants to talk for like an hour isn't it yes general thoughts yeah, but that's why I made a plan so you no it's not that do but that. I do want you to go I, I, I want you to go first let the baby have his ball come on uh, I, I really liked it I had some large issues with it though uh, but the they're concerns as opposed to issues because they're okay. not issues yet, but I can see it becoming one, um, and they're going to be really fucking difficult to talk about um, because they mm. my reasons for them being potential issues and concerns involve involve future spoilers. Yeah. Um, so, so I will say I think I know what you mean, but I will say the fact that they involve future spoilers is why I'm actually not worried about them at all. In a strange way, it's not the. F- oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. We might have to about. do this bit off air. Yes, yes. Because yeah. um, we don't want to spoil it going for, forward. Yeah, for I have no fucking else. clue what either of you are talking I, about. So. I will say, I will, when we get there, I yeah. will say what the thing is, but I can't say why I have a problem with it. Sure. Um, um, and then there are some. This is what was really strange to me watching. I, I texted you afterwards saying this was it was a ha, sorry like a, sorry Hannah we will we will not spoil it for you. Going to make sure not to. No, yeah, we won't we won't talk about it. Don't we? I'll I'll say what I didn't like. I wouldn't. I won't say why. Um, I'm not writing anything down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Use a pen. <laughs> I'm here for a start. <laughs> to buy an envelope. At Muchley. Oh. Ah, <laughs> um, actually, that makes more sense. Um, but what was really why it was such a peculiar experience for me is because uh, this is very good, and, uh, and like watching it from an objective, ignoring the game point of view, all of it was very good. I I, I enjoyed yeah. it, but there were some, and some of the changes and subversions, uh, subversions of expectations and stuff, I thought were really good and worked really well, and we're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that, mm. but some of them are completely arbitrary. Don't do anything. Therefore, why? Okay. <clears throat> like, there are some shit, like, don't do anything, good or bad. They're completely a neutral change. But because they're utterly neutral, it begs in my in my stupid brain, it goes, then why bother? The only reason I can think of there is to, uh, to differentiate from the game a little bit more. Yeah, but it's... That's in, the only thing I really can complete, think of. In completely arbitrary ways. Like, mm, not of yeah. any... Not, I don't mean, like, story beats or anything like that. It's just weird to, like, why? We'll go over them in a minute. Well, yeah, 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 we'll go over them. Because there's one... Can I, sorry, can I... Have you listened to the podcast? No. I have. And have you watched the Inside the Episode video? I have not. To, if, if the things you're thinking of are the ones I think you are, some of it kind of gets answered as to why. 
I don't um, want that outside of the show, though. Which means you might be thinking of different things. Possibly. More, in, case, more in terms of the thinking behind... You're saying the, thing, the things are arbitrary. And I agree, there are some things, there are some arbitrary changes, or I would say at this point, seemingly arbitrary changes, but they sort of give context as to their thinking behind why they wanted to make those changes. If we're, That's if we're talking about the same things at this point, because we might not be, we've not discussed that yet. So. On YouTube, is the podcast a video? It's on there just as an audio file. Uh, well, then, yeah, I'll just add it on here then, yeah. <laughs> because waste of time. Yeah, yeah. it's real yeah. good though. I'm sure it is. Real good. Sure yeah, I listen to I've listened to the um, Sacred Symbols one, but I haven't, I haven't done I haven't done Sacred Symbols yet actually. No, I've not. I've done it's uh, Patreon. Ah, I imagine it's also seven hours long. An hour and a half. Oh, okay. It's not bad. But yeah, it's just a bit longer than the episode. Uh, first time Dagan's ever done anything Sacred Symbols. Oh right. Um, but yes, overall, overall, Craig, Troy, Neil, and Craig, Craig Mazzini, yeah. I believe. Something like that. Moves in or something. Moves in. <coughs> I have some stuff to say about him as well, though. Like, yeah. Oh! He's a racist. Uh, <laughs> 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 he might be. I don't know. I don't think he is. <laughs> That's just usually what happens when. Uh, but anyway, overall, I really liked it. I thought it was very good. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to watching more. I think performances were great. There are a couple of bits I will talk about in terms of. Perf- not performance, but we'll get there. Um, but overall, I thought it was very, 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 very good, and I'm very much looking forward to watching the rest of it. Yeah. All my things were incredibly minor. They just yeah, I had a couple I'm of nitpicks. Ju- we just know what I'm like. Yeah, fair. Go now. If you say I don't want to go third, I will punch <laughs> you in the head, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll punch you in the other head. Uh, as I think has been made clear on this channel in the past, chat has been made clear on this channel in the past. The Last of Us is like basically my favorite thing mm-hmm. i love this franchise mm-hmm. i would agree yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I absolutely love this franchise I, I can't think of a single thing where i'm more invested in the characters more invested in the story and it's where what if they revealed that it's in the same universe as harry potter i'm not going to say the joke i want to say i'll just call you a train enthusiast <laughs> thank you <laughs> um We'll leave, yes, we'll leave the rest of the <laughs> imagination. The last fuss is the last fuss has been my favourite thing since it came out in 2013. I loved it. I when I first saw it revealed, I was like this looks interesting. I thought the experience of the game was outstanding, and ever since it's just been like my pinnacle of of storytelling. Mm-hmm. And as we discussed in the show before, you and I are the same. We like stories, and this for me is the best story experience I've ever had. <laughs> and I put together. I never released it, but I made a whole fucking like video essay a few years ago of why I think this story works as well as it does because it's a video game so the concept of there being an adaption in any sense was always very nerve-wracking to me it's like what the story is great but i think it's as good as it is because it's a video game and i put forward there's all these reasons for it as to why i think that is so i was nervous to watch this i've never felt more anxious putting on a show before i was like oh, God, i'm fucking about mm. to watch this um it had barely started and I was like, there, yeah, they've done it. Like, this is The Last of Us. Yeah. End of. It's yeah. The Last of Us. It, it looks like The Last of Us. It feels like The Last of Us. It sounds like The Last of Us. It has the pacing and the tone perfect. The characterization is perfect. The costume design is bang on. Oh. The set design is bang on. The Tommy's voice. I, that was weird. Fucking weird. Was like, Why do you sound exactly like Tommy? That's odd. Um, yeah. There's also, there's a bit with Ellie when she like gets put into a room and she like, they go like, you stay in there and shut the door on her and she's like, hey, what the fuck? And yeah, it's like, it's why do you suddenly sound like Ashley Johnson? I don't understand. <laughs> um, but I think that's just because they got the casting so right that they get the characters. They just get the mm. characters. What the internet doesn't seem to realise is that... Um, People become the people that they are by the way they act. act. Mm-hmm. Yes, how the they, way they move, look, their mannerisms, and not how they look. Even yes. though I do think they all look about, they look right. They still look mm-hmm. like I look. Yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah, that's. I think everyone other than Tess and Marlene look not really like any of their characters at all. But only from a not moving still image visual sure. representation. Yeah. Obviously, like once put into this. The scenes and the the, the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and when you then you're just like, well, that is Joel, yeah, that yes. is Ellie, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what they fucking look like, yeah, what the actual face shape, yeah, is. because you're not going to get someone who looks like a fake person, no, yeah, no. because like if you actually, Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson don't look like that, exactly. <laughs> like, if you actually look at 
Joel and Ellie. They don't look like real people. Yeah, yeah because they're, they're not <laughs> real people. They're fucking absolutely three um, models. But anyway, carry but on. yeah, I I I loved every second of it. I think there are there are some changes that were made which are weird, and I agree. Some of it seems jo- um, seems arbitrary. As I look back on it further, and I've thought about this a lot this week, I don't think it is as arbitrary as it might seem. I think there are reasons behind it which we'll get into. And I'll put forward my two cents into that argument as to why I think some of these decisions have been made and why I think actually they're a good thing, um, which I, w- I will get they into. They may very well be. For sure, yeah. I, I know, yeah. We, this is the other, we're only on episode one. Yeah, there is yeah. actually time for this to go the other way for me. They could fuck it up in the next eight weeks. I don't think they're going to. No, I don't think they're um, going But what's important to me right now, the way I'm feeling about it, is I am not watching this going, this is better than or worse than the game. Mm-hmm. I am watching it's it going, the yeah. they have made the same thing in such a way where it feels like it's expanded upon in a way that makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm getting substantial new content as part of the story that isn't in any way for me changing it or changing that experience. I think it is being... The crucial word is this is an adaption. It's an yeah. adaption from one medium to another. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what, what, I, what I was going to say when you, were, when you were done, but this is a perfect point to chime in, is that they've actually made an adaptation. Yes. yes. They have taken the thing yep. and adapted it to fit... Yes, the medium no. that they are making. They haven't it for. Assassin's Creeded it. Yeah, and I, and I think they've <laughs> done it. <laughs> I think they've done it perfectly. Mm-hmm. At yeah. least that first episode. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. At this point, I completely agree. Is it is just? I, I, I was just so excited watching it. I couldn't oh. wait for the next bit. I, was I, was like, just, I know what's coming out. I can't wait. To and see it was like this. it's just still so. Te- I know what's going to happen, but it's still so tense. What I think they've done well is. We know what's going to happen, but we don't know how it's going to happen. Because they've made these little tweaks. Yeah, mm. like we know where they're going to end up. Yeah. But we don't know exactly how. But the, the, you know, my biggest compliment on The Last of Us, and particularly the sequel, part two, was how good it is at creating tension and making you feel tense the entire time. And for me, this was doing it as well. I was mm. like, I just feel so fucking tense and on edge. You never feel any greater relief than the relaxation of the beehole when you turn the game off after a long day of playing. Yes. Yeah. Because um, you're just like... Oh! <laughs> the entire time. And there's also the, I think from like our point of view who know the story, who does know what's to come, there's that tension, apprehension, apprehension of, I don't know if I'm ready for this. And actually there was a point building up to all the stuff with Sarah. Um, as it was going along, I said to Kamara, I was like, I don't think I'm, I don't think I want to. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I do want to do this again. Mm. Like, not now, not like this. I don't think I'm ready to experience this in a different way. I've done it a number of times and I've become desensitized to it now. This is going to fuck me. Yes. Yeah. Um, it gets worse, Jack. I, uh, no, no, I, it didn't do anything to me. Huh. Just because I've seen it so many fucking times. I think more of a case I've of... Seen part two multiple times. It was more of like, uh, that. I think they did a great job of going, they've still captured that moment perfectly and created the same sort of like feeling of heartbreak and, and yeah for sure it, for me it, for me it was literally just i've seen it 90 you, times yeah that's fair you know that's really yeah. funny i had this exact same conversation with lizzie and i was in your boat and Lizzie was in your boat mm. but she was like i've, I've seen it. it just didn't do anything for me it, it wrecked me i wouldn't say it harder. wrecked me but i was just like yeah they've done it like it's me. i appreciated the scene and yeah. the emotion of the scene and the Oh, and, and everything that they're done but uh, it's like it's very hard for it to like the game doesn't affect me in that scene anymore either like, I kind of, no I kind of yeah I agree with that um, just because I've seen it so many times I've played yeah. that game so many times I've played played it on PS3 I I've can, played it multiple times on the PS4 I, I know you agree with this but like you, I can still appreciate that yeah, moment yeah, though yeah, when yeah. I play it it's yeah, like yeah, fuck yeah. man that's I'm good yeah, so I said, I said to Chris when we were in the studio last, I think you've given up on trying to find part one. Oh, uh, I'm just... Gonna, well, I'm not... Oh, it's the same fucking game. I'm not... I'm, I'm not I'm just, no. well, it's much prettier now that you have a PS5. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it at some point, but with Star Wars and Hogwarts Legacy coming out pretty soon, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'll wait. Fair. Or boomerang or something. Elegantly put, Hannah. I've only read the first sentence. Knowing nothing about this, I knew Sarah was going to carpet. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> well, why was she going to a carpet? Shut up. Or turn into a fish. 
Um, but I also wanted her to survive and just be played by Tandy Newton after the time jump. Yeah. Is that cool? Her daughter? Yeah. Yeah. I Tandy didn't know daughter, that. Yeah. yeah. Having a surname like Parker threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I'm guessing the stage names or one of them is using a stage name or maybe one of the, the, she's not with her dad, dad or something. Or, that would be her dad's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, guys, I'm just wondering. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Maybe Fanny Newton's keeping Newton as a stage name and it hasn't taken her husband's Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Like Judy Dench was actually all Judy Williams. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I did think she looked like Tandy Newton, but now we know why. Mm. Um, uh, he, husband, is called Old Parker. Parker. <laughs> oh, good old Parker. <laughs> um, yeah, that makes Does he sense. own a farm? That makes sense. That makes sense. Because um, of Old MacDonald is what I was going for. Thank you for that yes, I, I, um, <laughs> so I could appreciate the whole thing. But when it was just like, when I it was just like, and now I realised it, Hannah. And now I realised it. How did no one realise it? Well, for one, I didn't even know Tandy Newton had a child. <laughs> I haven't thought about Tandy Newton since we did Mission Impossible 2 as a as a, as a podcast. She's not exactly world famous. <laughs> also, as a dyslexic person, that's a fucking horrible name to try and read. <laughs> I thought she called Tandy Wee for like the first, first, first two years and we know who she was. That does look like a typo. I'm pretty sure that's it does, a typo. It does look like a typo, but I don't know. <laughs> There's not a W in Tandy, is there? I think there is. I think that is how you spell it. I need to have a word with her mother. <laughs> it's like Siobhan all over again. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> Why is there a B in Siobhan? Yeah. And an H. Yes. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, well. Shit. Sure. Uh, yeah. uh, but that's not yeah. where the H is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan. Siobhan. <laughs> See, they just come with Lee Mac jokes. Huh? They're good Lee Mac jokes, but we're just going for Lee Mac jokes now. I've never watched Lee Mac. Again. Oh, he does a whole sketch it. about a serpent horn. Oh, does he? Shut up, Bahun. He does a whole thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, anyway. There's a whole thing about names as well, old McIntyre. Mm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I can, when it's done, like, and now they roll down the hill, and they're about, he's going to be like, no, please don't. And then Tommy's going to appear, I know, and just be like, bow. And then they're all, no. Um, so there's, I could appreciate the whole scene. We're fully into spoilers now. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck it. No one's going to watch this and get confused, so that's fine. Uh, I can appreciate the whole scene and how well it was done, but obviously it just, in terms of emotion level, it didn't really do do anything mm. for me. Fair enough. But I don't mean that as a negative. I just no, mean, it's fair. I've seen yeah. it so many times. That's cool, Hannah. Can I talk about all the things I love now, please? Uh, please, please. Yeah, go on. I'm going to aim you because otherwise you'll okay. talk without letting us get a word in yeah. edgeways all for right. about an hour and a half. All right. Um, I want to talk about the opening. Yes. Good. I hated it. Oh, get out of my house. Oh, really? Get out of my house. <laughs> what? what? I do specifically mean the news broadcast. Yeah, get out of my house. I loved it. It's I, so good. I thought it was, it was so pointless. It's not, blue, it's not, it wasn't a news broadcast. It was like a chat show thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I was. I thought it was really cool to get that. See, now, behind see it. you're saying pointless, and this is where I actually I'm glad. I'm actually kind of glad you're saying you think that because it, it allows me to kind of stretch into what I think they're doing with the sort of expanded stuff they're giving us, um, which is the game. And as a game, can tell you expanded lore in a completely different way to what a TV show can or a film can because you get the excess stuff in conversations during gameplay sections or by picking up um, you know, uh, letters and items mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's how you get the rest of the mm -hmm. lore. That's how you learn the rest of the stuff. It's from reading the things. It's from listening to their little conversations to each other. I see what I did by accident there. That's how the game can teach you. And it's my biggest praise on The Last Was at the Game. I think it is one of the best, if not the best, at the environmental storytelling. It, using mm -hmm. the things you can find, the things in the world around you, as subtle clues to tell you everything you need to know and piece it all together. Yeah, I think there's only one game that I personally think is better at environmental storytelling than Bioshock. But I haven't played that, so no, I'm not, yeah, I can't but, judge. But, but also, I wouldn't call it a better game than The Last yeah. of Us. But no, it's just, in that I, very specific element, I think No, I think Bioshock you're right, is, actually. Is perfect. But... So, but what I mean, what I mean from that is, though, like a, a film and a TV or a TV show or that kind of medium, it doesn't get that opportunity to do it, that. Everything has agree. to be presented to you directly. I fully agree. However, this was the epitome. Like, this is how you literally tell don't show. I don't think it is, though. I don't think it is tell don't show. I think it's. I think it does a really good job of creating a for for, for newcomers that don't know it. 
I think it's really good at just setting up the idea of what that world might be. And it, it does a really good job of well, a job as well. Like that whole speech of him talking is he mentions cordyceps, but he doesn't say it will only be specifically yeah, cordyceps. Three or four different types yeah. of fungi, doesn't he? So you don't actually get every bit of information, and it's kind of done as like, a, well, what if this happened? What if this happened? And also, by the well, way, what I think is fascinating about it is that that's a genuine, real thing of like, this could happen. And it's probably right if, from a scientific point of view, we, we cannot, we can't fight a fungi. End of. Like, that is just the science yeah. behind it. So this is, the what happens is probably what would happen. Um, Maybe but not I, clickers, but... but yes. yes. In terms of like the way the world yeah, yeah, falls. Yeah, yeah. Um, it would be fucked, yes. Yes. Um, but I, the reason I think it works... As I say, for newcomers, it gives you the just a little bit of context early on and helps build that tension in that opening. Because obviously then the whole thing with Sarah is much longer in this with so much more than what we have in the game. Mm. Yeah, I don't, and, that's, yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Um, okay. No, 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 I know that. Um, but then what? Because throughout that whole section with Sarah, there's all these little hints, kind of like Shaun of the Dead, these little mm-hmm. things going on in the background. Yeah. Just this little like an ambulance and a SWAT thing going past while she's in the shop and the thing with the gran that can't even eat the biscuits and the dog's getting scared of her and all this yeah. kind of stuff. But mate, twitching in the the f- we'll yeah. talk about the gran in a minute. Um, there's loads of these little things. The stuff, even just on the radio at the beginning, they're, 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 there's a radio thing talking about it and they're not actually listening to the story. They're just like, oh, what's this place called? They're not listening to it. But the story is telling you that something's going down. And I think what it does is it just means that for those coming in that are looking at it blindly, you know, how many people do we know that even know the game that just go, oh, it's a zombie thing? When we know it's not a zombie thing, it's not zombies. It's a totally different thing to that. It just, for the uneducated and the unaware, it gives them that kind of like, oh, hang on, wait, so what is, you can see what's happening, you see where it's going to go without giving you everything, I think. And then from a newcomer, I just think it's a, not a newcomer, from someone that's done it and knows it, sorry. Like I was watching that scene and I was like, it's really nice to hear this explained l- l- like yeah, straight out. Cause it's something that we've kind of always known, but only cause we've ever had it from putting together the pieces, which the show can't let us put together the pieces in the same way. So it was like, it was really nice to hear it explained. And I do think that John Hannah's fucking delivery of the whole thing was fucking outstanding. Don't disagree with that. And I don't disagree that it was well put together for what it was. I just, I don't know. I just, in anything, I hate the group of people sitting in a chair telling you what's about to happen. I, I always hate it. I mm-hmm. don't think it fits in anything. I don't think it has a place in anything. For me, like well, obviously we can disagree on that, but I do think it's the epitome of tell, don't show. I think you could have done, you can do environmental storytelling in a TV show. Yes, it's just not in the same way. Yeah. It's yeah. different. But you can they, they do, do it. in this. Yeah, yeah, they absolutely do. Mm. Which is kind of then why, like, why don't they? Mm. Like you can, and like that whole thing that you're just talking about with everything going on in the background that is environmental storytelling, and it works. Yeah, it is. Yeah, totally. Is. In, it's impeccable what they do during that whole mm. um, other opening sequence. I just thought this was like right, okay, cool. I like, would, I would be interested because they talk about it on the podcast because Neil Druckmann didn't want to do that, mm. and he, they should have stuck with his guns. Well. <laughs> No, so he didn't want to do it until he saw it. And then when he yeah. saw it, because basically he says in the podcast that Craig shot it all and put it all together. Um, and then when he saw it, he went, oh, no, this is actually really good. I do want this in there. Um, so I've been, tri- and he saw, I can't remember exactly what he says, but Neil Druckmann kind of give, like contextualizes it and gives it like, this is why I decided it worked. So it'd be, I'd be intriguing just to see how you feel about it once you hear Neil's point of view. Um, Maybe, and I'm wondering how I would have felt about it if it was after the Sarah. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair. Oh, okay. not not the first thing you saw. Sure. Yeah, because then you're just like, right, well, now we know immediately what's going to happen. I think it would have been better if you had the intro and be like, what is happening? I see where you're yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. I don't disagree with that. No, that would have been really cool, And then you actually. can have... But I just think opening with that, I think it was... I stand by pointless. Not, like, whether or not you think the scene is pointless, I think putting it at the very front, it's just, well, the, like, the game managed to do it. Mm. And but not and I no, don't I mean I, know, I, know, I, know. I don't mean in terms of all the like, obviously you can't do that obviously you can't yeah I mean That'd I think be weird if the show just kept pausing to show you a note there's a few things week. as I was thinking about this for the week but the game managed to do it because it was the thing I said about Uncharted 
the game managed to create a thing that was new to people and still got them hooked. So why do we need to change what it is for the film to get people hooked? Mm -hmm. That was what I said. Um, so I was, think I was thinking the same thing. I was like, we don't need to do it. But it's like, what the game managed to do with The Last of Us is different to what the, the entire conversation was. Mm -hmm. and I was like, so I need to separate myself from that thinking because the game managed to do it by doing it by doing something that only a game can do mm. and i think the tv show has to approach that differently i agree and but I, I do i do agree though actually that it should have been after service. i think it would have worked better and i mean i liked it i thought it was good but i do think it actually would have been even better if it was after the whole thing with sarah because you would have had the what the fuck is going yeah, exactly. on and then get the ah oh hey some interesting yeah, context but, but now if you go because this i do like the scene though that was the, the scene uh, on its scene. own is good. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, it's John Hannah. Yeah. I mean, he's great. Uh, uh, I, I, I honestly, I think the whole thing, I think the dialogue in the whole section as well, are just like the, like they're kind of joking with him and he's just like, no, I'm about to talk about something real fucked up. So yeah. pay attention. Yeah, and yeah. just like, goes in like a hard mud on thing, it. Like fucking listen to me yeah. without being a dick. But, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, do, and I do like the idea because this is just reality that in this world, People knew about it, but were too thick to fucking pay attention because that's what happens in the real world. People know about these things, yeah. but are too <laughs> thick to listen. And actually, they were talking about you know viral pandemics and stuff in that scene. Mm. And I think just the fact that we are still in the midst of essentially a, a viral pandemic and just like pointing out that this viral pandemics will always happen and we will always beat them. And that's true because historically we always have done. And just the way viruses mm. work. But this is viral. And this isn't viral. And I, 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 um, you said that on the show as well. That COVID was just a cold. I still agree. It's just a cold. It's just a particularly livid one. <laughs> I've had worse flus than I had COVID. There you go. See, it's a very cold. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a, <laughs> it's a chilly. <laughs> <laughs> I would say chilly is milder than cold. <laughs> All right. It's a bit fucking nipply then. <laughs> Cutting diamonds. That's what yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Brass monkeys. <laughs> so, as like the scene, the placement of it, whatever, and what it does for the show there aside, I think the scene itself is fucking excellent. Yeah, it is. I, I think because it opens with it, you then go to the scene and you go, oh well, there's a fungal infect. Like immediately, you yeah, know there is that. On. I get that. And whereas the game opens, does that, and then you get a bit of an explanation during the opening credits. Um, oh my god. I'm sorry, I just do the opening credits of this. Oh yeah, the no, theme. They crack out the it's theme. Fucking they wonderful. They always have brilliant intros. They, always they have crack them. out the fucking theme oh and like God. As soon as it went down, it started just it comes in, just goes straight in with the riff. I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and it was yeah. I was mildly worried they weren't gonna yeah, use so it. Yes, so that was alright. And it was the, the I think the visuals of it was gorgeous as well, because it was showing the fungal infection and it moves into the map of America to show it taking over America and all this different stuff it's doing and then it's sort of coming up in the shape of Joel and Ellie at the end I was like man that was fucking outstanding in itself and so by that point I was like I'm alright I'm so fucking in on this yeah, yeah absolutely um, absolutely what's happening what's happening uh, Richard <laughs> <laughs> what's happening Rich is that you um <laughs> it's not we have a problem exactly Sid? here. I think it's Sid. Sid? <laughs> Sid has come alive. We have questions, son. <laughs> <laughs> um, come meet your creepy uncle. <laughs> <laughs> See? Run, Sid, run. Um, but no, obviously that whole sequence with at the beginning with Sarah. Goodness. Oh, I thought it was real good. Goodness. I loved there, it. Oh, it was expanded. There are, there, are, there are things that I now can't talk about because they talk. Well, I probably can because it's very. No, I won't. Um, because there's actually a few references to Last of Us Part 2. There yeah. is. Yeah. Um, in that scene. Subtle yeah. stuff. Very subtle stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's not like over. This was full of fucking Easter eggs. There's loads of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's like uh, when a dimensional portal opened and Jack and Daxter came flying mm. through. Yeah, yeah. It was just. <laughs> Um, I honestly thought it was excellent when it first started it and I was like oh it's doing a lot more here than what we had with the game also have, has like I've seen so many horror movies that if a dog behaves weird with someone I leave yeah um, I, I think have it's, they not <laughs> I think it's, I think it's perfect horror personally I think it's excellent yeah I, the whole is. thing with the dog watching the granny and just being like 
A uh, dog acting weird with someone that should be absolutely yeah. okay. I love yeah. it though. Yeah, oh, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Like uh, Troy Baker mentions it in their podcast of like this whole thing that animals are cottoning on that things are wrong before we do, and that's oh, they, terrifying. They do, but they do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but people don't take notice of it. And like Sarah kind of does. Oh, there's something not right there. Mm. But mate, the, uh, the whole thing with the fucking granny when she's standing at the bookshelf and just seeing her in the background like twitching, twitching I fucking love that. It. Was oh my god, oh, like, was, I, I, so good. Yeah. And uh, and it was like. Yeah, when it started and we were getting all this extra stuff with Sarah that we don't have and uh, and with Tommy and, and stuff we don't have at oh, in the dynamics game. Were fantastic, but first I was like, I don't know if I'm going to need this. Like, it worked. Why do we need to change it? But then everything it was giving me, I was like, this is all good. It's all so oh, yeah. good. It's like, fine, then oh, give I'm, it. I'm on both modes, Give me I, all of it. I don't think we needed any of it. Um, because no, I see, this is... But Okay, maybe not Sarah stuff. I don't think we needed it, but I do think it did, it did a really good job of just mm. building towards you know, that. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Sarah's Sarah's was, needed it yeah. What I was uh, going to say was, I don't think we needed anything other than the, like, other than 15 minutes of that intro, like, like we would normally have gotten. Mm. But I'm glad we got it. Yeah, because yeah, I think great. it was all it was all really good. Um, have you I seen? Love, I love the shit that she nice gives. Nice to in. see more of a relationship with Tommy as yes. well. Um, I love. I love. There this. was a change in there. I, I could very well come back. I don't know why. Why was it necessary for Tommy to be in jail? I get yeah. it. It was to give a reason why Joel had fucked off. Yeah. Because in the game, it's just that like, he's just not there. And you just sort of go, oh, I guess he was caught up. He was at work. No, he, no, comes, he, back. Comes, he comes back. He comes back. So it's and then she oh, wakes yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, 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 so yeah, then it's like, in the, yeah. you just sort of go, oh, well, I guess it's this, whatever. But I mean, but I mean, you could have done that Yeah, you again. could have done. But I think to actually put a reason in and go, there's a reason why he's gone. It to me just makes sense. Yeah, like, makes yeah why sense. not? It's not yeah. in any way harming it. It's like a. It's not no, but it, it just it just it was one of those on the surface level of it. Yeah, you can probably dig deeper, and like it makes sense. It's fine. Yeah, I don't have an issue with the decision, mm. but it was one of those for me arbitrary. You could have just had it cut with had done the same thing. Sarah wakes up. Well, what I think they're doing is, and again, this is like this is going to happen as we talk through more and more of this episode, but. I just think it continuously comes back to the way they have to build the characters and build the arc different in a different structure to what you do in the game. You know, and I think what you get is with this beginning scene and or you know, even with the game, but the story is that in the sequence with Sarah and then the sequence where you see him later in modern day, if you like, um, he's had a character shift. He's a completely different person in post-apocalypse world mm-hmm. because of everything that's happened mm-hmm. to what he is before. And that. a lot of it, we will never know what happens. Yes. Because mm. it's been 20 years. Yes. Yep. And the game, I think, is able to do that in a number of different ways with all the environmental stuff and the sheer amount of extra conversation time you have mm. that isn't in cutscenes. Because that's the thing with this game, with The Last of Us. There's so much conversation that happens just when you're walking around, yep. when you're exploring, when you're just playing. There's loads and loads of really good contextual conversation, especially between Tess and Joel at the beginning um, which I think gives all these indications of what's going on with them but starts to show how things are different to how he was at the beginning of the game and I think what they're doing here by doing that and putting that in is just building harder on who he was as a person in that early part of the game is that I'll go and help I will go and I will go and help my brother at this ridiculous time and this ridiculous thing he's got Mm. himself caught up to on my birthday I'm still going to go and do it because that's the kind of person he is and I think that then that builds to when you get to the scene when he fucking just takes the granny out with the wrench like the, and it's just hilarious by the way it yeah. is hilarious but he it's that he the granny out of her but I also oh. <laughs> I've been waiting to make that joke since uh, I since hate Monday. you so much because <laughs> that in, I think on the surface is an arbitrary change of that it's not Jimmy the neighbour crashing through the glass and he shoots him I think it, on the surface is an arbitrary change but actually when I think about it more, it's like, is it arbitrary? Because what it's really doing is just showing like, now it's gone from he's shooting someone, a, a, hit a bloke running at him, to he's beating a granny in the face of a wrench. That's totally, that to me, they're like totally different actions. Like, they're right. a whole different levels. But st- still, like, like... Beating implies more than one as well. Was but uh, yeah, but a bit, like, uh, that's like a cold blood much more brutal mm. and also to an old granny. Like, obviously I know it's a zombie granny, but like, Zanny, that is 
I think on the surface, a much harder thing for someone to do than shoot a man that's charging at you. Like, I know that if a bloke was charging at me and I had a gun and he was mental, I'd be like, fucking shoot him. If a granny was charging at me and I had to hit her, I'd be like, oh, this feels just a little bit more awkward, feels a little bit more wrong. And I just think it shows, like, the level of brutality he's willing to go to it's where he needs to. It's also heavily implied that he has more of an idea of what's happening. Oh, yeah, he absolutely... Yeah. He does. Believe, because otherwise he wouldn't have just run over his neighbour. Absolutely. So I like get this Jesus time. Christ, Joel! <laughs> <laughs> we also get this time round that they're... Well, at least Tommy, because it's his truck, is a combat veteran. Yeah, there's a like a bumper sticker. Yeah, which we don't get in the games. And I... I that, that is, seems, I, think I like that. implying that makes sense because it, it, it How helps. How did he get so good at the fighting? Yeah. Well, that it implies... Well, not implies. It helps you accept that they would have survived yes definitely yep. definitely and i think i i think the whole stuff we're putting that extra stuff in with joel and tommy at the beginning like hannah said there not knowing the story it made me realize that joel and tommy are super close and would do anything for each other there's like, that but that was anyway carry on oh, sorry I like i know you kind of learn that in the game but you learn it in a different way and you learn it later Much you later. learn it from the fact that those two are like i have to be really careful here because we're going to move into spoiler focus spoiler focus Future spoilers, words, Christian. Good lord, I don't well, know. that spoiler focus? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to move into future spoilers. But there's time later on in the game in a way that the show won't be able to give us because it's the part of the game that a show can't do mm. where you learn about it. So you have to do it differently. And I think, you know, we haven't seen those later parts of the game in the show yet. So how they handle stuff there, we don't know. Um, but back here, it has to be shown differently. And I think you have to show the way Joel's character has changed differently um, and I think this does a really good job of expanding on it. And you know, and it's what I said at the beginning. I think everything they gave us in this, <laughs> the, <laughs> I, d I, d I don't know who this is, but that was very That's, funny. That was great. You will like it here. Sorry, sorry, Jack. <laughs> I believe that is Sam. Hello. Oh. Um, I lost my train of thought again. Beating Granny. Oh no, I was saying so. All the stuff it. I think all that stuff extra it gives you, I think just continues to add to it for me. I, I don't think any of it m made less sense. There are two things I can think of that I kind of went, I don't actually feel like that did need changing. One of them is the years are different. Yes. Yeah. That, that is the one weird. I don't see the point. That is the one where I'm just like that, that particular one is so, uh, that was the one where it's just like, this is so arbitrary. And completely inconsequential I think the to the positive or to the yes. negative. Therefore, why? I think the only reason they've done it is because... So it matches now. So it matches yeah, now. That's, yeah, that's but that's thinking. totally arbitrary. Well, I, yeah, I agree. Also, yeah, because it's, totally it's a post-apocalyptic world, it doesn't matter it doesn't that it's matter, now. Yeah, like, yeah I totally agree with that. Completely arbitrary. Yeah. Like, they had to think about it as well because they gave him an old phone. Yeah. yeah. Like, they had to properly plan that out and think about it. I really... I hope at some point they bring up their decision... As to why, because mm. for me, utterly pointless. I agree it's pointless, but I also don't think it makes it worse. No, so no, that's what I'm saying. I'm totally not bothered by it at the same that, time. That, but because it's... Uh, I'm, oh, I was saying to Saf earlier, it's really hard to wrap my brain around this because it's like... Oh, sorry. The what? thing that... Like, it's so unnecessary because it adds nothing positive or negative. Yeah. It it's adds nothing and it takes nothing away. That... Yeah, and you're like, fine, okay, so that doesn't bother me, it doesn't do anything. But also, because it's so pointless, why? why? Yeah. And that bothers me. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. <laughs> that no, I understand. It, didn't, it doesn't bother me, but I understand why it would bother you, of all people. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> oh, that looks so butter. <laughs> Only he can butter hurt me. <laughs> I wonder what joke you're going to go for. I can see, I can see the clogs turning. But her joke, but her joke, but her joke. Uh, Christian. <laughs> what mind you about Christian? So not <laughs> I, I think you missed that. I did. What did you say? I said we're the same person, so it's not going. <laughs> I missed that as well. I'm all right with that. That's fine. Um, but uh, on, did you did you clock stuff? I didn't clock it. Someone mentioned, so I spotted online later and I was like, huh, I wonder. The implications early on that it spread through flour. Yes. Yeah, and they avoid it all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I quite yeah. like that. Because I like that some psychopath thing. made raisin cookies instead of chocolate chips, so they didn't eat them. I mean, I do like raisin cookies. But I like that little thing because uh, what I was reading is like fungi spreads through flour. Like, and there are known cases of people mm -hmm. picking up fungal infections oh. from. 
bad flower. That, that city in Indonesia as well, um, I saw this on a theory, is like the main export of flour to like the rest yes. of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. Really interesting. Uh, I, but I just, I love that subtle world building. But that, if we're going to talk about the open sequence with Sarah, Sarah I've got to talk more about the fucking granny. Because, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, my God. I'm curious to see something. Because one thing I f- was a little bit strange, and it kind of made it feel a bit more generic zombie, was when you first see her as an infected. And yes. it's a shot straight out of Resident Evil 1. Yeah, and she's yeah. just sat there hunched over, like slurping away. And I'm like, but they, they've never done that. Yeah, they have. Yeah, have. There's a number of times in the game where they're just there, hunched over, slurping a body, and you can sneak past them. I mean, it very much depends how you play the game. Yeah. To be fair, true. If you if you if you don't if you, if you don't sneak, the off, then, yeah. <laughs> then yeah. But there's a quite a, there's quite a few moments where they will just find him slurping on a body. Mm. They just eat though, don't they? They eat them. No, that's what she yeah, I feel like she was eating them because she's like it was all the tendrils and stuff, and that's how the yeah, infection well, spreads. Well, she didn't have any teeth. She had to. The, the, <laughs> She was a granny. Tendrils. She was gu- <laughs> she was them. gumming that thing to yeah. death. It was the tendrils, which is what they've replaced the spores with. It was those weird tendrils that come out of their mouth. Um, uh, third oh. diner. We are spoiling the we're spoiling the hell out of it. Just was a warn you if you're here and you've not seen it. Just finished the Walking Dead season eleven. Good lord, you were dedicated to that yeah, show. Yeah, I was going to say I gave up on like seven of them. See, so I like the whole. Tendril thing. I like the tendril thing. I like the thing. tendrils oh, cool. coming out of our it mouth. It makes sense. Oh. Like it makes sense because what uh, they've said about the airborne thing is that would it would just spread way too fucking fast. Yeah, and they do. They do spread way too fucking fast. Yeah. Um, but uh, but if you were slapping with the one thing, we need to see how it goes forward because it could have just been loaded. You can explain it away quite easily, but uh, obviously. The infected aren't dead. That's an important yes. differenti- mm-hmm. differential between zombies. Well, you don't have to shoot them in the head necessarily. Yeah, you can just kill them. Yes. Yeah, it's, um, they aren't dead. Yes, um, it's just a a, a, a host yeah. taking over a living, taking over the brain, a living thing. So it's just the kind of slurping them dry and what have you, yeah. eating away. They wouldn't be able to come back. Oh. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And then and you then see she him. Did and come back. Y- Obviously, they, you can explain... Granny doesn't of, come back. Huh? What do you mean Granny comes back? Granny doesn't come back. No, the one she was slurping and oh, yeah, yeah, away yeah. comes the two, back. They That's sort the of one he runs again. over. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Joel! And then just gets <laughs> it immediately tackled. It was just a joke, Han. <laughs> but then I wonder if it's that, you know, they've all, they're also both already... Inf- they were eating the same... If it's come from the flower, they were eating the same biscuits and the same cookies that they're already infected as well. Yeah. Yes, no, but then you can still kill them. But, and also, would, would they numb down on an infected... Only if it hasn't quite turned yet, Maybe. and then they turn just as, she's, as they're being nommed on. Maybe. Maybe, but Matt, I thought the granny was fucking terrifying. Oh, she was, and I knew it was going to happen as soon as I saw her. Grannies are always. As soon terrifying. as I first saw her and they were giving her the Short biscuits, months. yes. As soon as I first saw her and they were giving her the biscuits, I went, "She's going to be the first yep. fucking zombie we're yeah, going to see." Me too. She's the first infected, and I was like, "I'm fine with it." And when they get, went back to the second time, I was like, "Yeah, totally." And yeah, I loved the yep. thing with her in the chair, and you see it in the background, and I loved. What I liked about it is that, you know, everything you see about her before that is that she is fucked. She is. And there's there are all these things like, why am I even talking to you? Like, you're completely deaf. You don't yeah. know I'm here. But, and they talk about this on the podcast, and I like this. Because of the way the fungal infection works, and the way it works in reality is, in a way, it's fixing her. Because it's making her be able to move again, which she couldn't do. But it's completely taken over her mind, her, mind yeah. to her motivations and everything else. I'm really curious if we're going to see, because you get moments with the with the runners as they are so called well they clearly remember who they are in the game you get moments where they're just fucking sobbing and oh yeah they, yeah, they so, know so they get moments of the they know what's that they are there's in there there's an element of them in yeah. there so yeah, yeah. i'm i'm really i think the game always get... did a really good job at kind of like cuz they're on the front of it they talk about that like, they're not it's not him anymore it's not them anymore but there is always that hint on the through that it kind it of is. is it kind of is like they have a sense of degree of what's yeah, a, a sense of knowledge of what's going on, but they have absolutely no control because then, as soon as they notice you, the sobbing stops. Yes, they screech and they come at you. Yeah, um, uh, and I, I'm I'm hoping we get an element so of I. that because I think I think that's what the fucking most haunting part about the runners. Yes, is the fact that you can mate, just... the fucking one he sees when he's carrying Sarah, 
that's like numbing down and then just is bolt upright yeah. like a meerkat. I was just like, oh, fucking hell. Yeah. And I then, love the way they move. I love the way, they, and I love the way that that thing was chasing after him and just like no control, just yeah. plowing through fucking everything. Just right. like oh, the one oh, at the yeah. end through the pizza restaurant. Yeah, just yeah. that's the one I mean. Over the fucking car. It almost looks like uh, it's been almost looks like like every few frames they've just gotten rid of one yeah or something like it's oh, i love the way they fucking move it was great it's it's so good i actually also really liked the changes with the sarah like the subtle things of well for, actually we haven't spoken about it the fucking the few things were like shot for shot with the car uh-huh. yeah. i fucking uh-huh. loved I also like things that. that are just very subtly different like the barn is on the wrong side yes yeah and, and like, ah, the first- ah, there's like now sorry i forgot this until you just said it Sorry, I need to... The barn's on the other side of the road. There's a thing here, and I wanted to put this theory forward. There are loads of shots in this opening sequence and later parts of the game which are shot for shot, but they're not. They are all the wrong way around. Oh. There is a thing on... I on. No one's mentioned it. I was the only one... I've, no one's fucking said it anywhere. I'm the only one that spotted this. You sent me... What did make me laugh was the video you sent me where it's just like, <laughs> they've recreated this scene shot for shot and then picked one that was very different. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, but there are like some... Co- so there's one of him carrying... Like of him carrying Sarah just before that she, she shot. Mm-hmm. There's one of him like the with... Sign, the with, right sign. No, there's one with like. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. Oh. There's one with Ellie uh, where they're standing on like side by side. There's the bar. There's quite a few, and in every single one of these shots, the IGN put the comparison. And they are the wrong way round. They are mirrored. I wonder if that is a fully conscious decision that it's mirroring the game, so they've mirrored every shot. It's the kind of fucking thing Neil Druckmann would do. Yes, yeah, so this is why he's one of the. I'm convinced of it because of every time. single one I've seen that's a shot from the game, which is in mm. this. Is different name for the barn over. Yeah, oh, the was barn. Jimmy, wasn't it? No, the but the J- Jimmy. Jimmy is, is the neighbour that the crashes neighbor. through the, w- the uh, window in the game. I remember because he's lost. Did they Cooper. say it's Jimmy's barn? Yeah, yeah. It's Sam's, it's Sam's barn, barn in the, the game. in, in, in the, the game. game. Yeah. yeah, so they you they Correct. repurpose that name as like a Easter egg. My favourite. Yeah, I think it's an Easter egg. That's yeah. Very odd. That my, uh, my favourite thing, and it's actually my brain put that up. It's, it's anyway. not quite a, a, an Easter egg, really, but but it's something I noticed. It was cool. I didn't know. Uh, the t-shirt that Sarah's wearing it's a, the same, same. one yeah. and the locations on the back of the shirt do you guys know about this? no so the tour um, is it a Pearl Jam tour? no nope. oh, I was going to say it's a, fict- it's a fictitious band but right. the tour places on the back are the places you go in the game in the order you go to them in oh mm-hmm. wow so nice. it's like Boston then I guess it would be Jackson and then yeah, yeah, yeah. well surely it would be Texas first You'd assume so. Texas, That's true. Boston, yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably would have been. It probably would have. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Because you would have seen it's them. Cool. There. <laughs> That's cool. I like yeah. that. Um, but yeah, I, I there was always changes they changed with that sequence. So like, I actually really liked that they didn't get taken up by a bus. There was this plane crash. I like the fact that the car was there though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. They had the car coming. Yeah. To hit them and then just went. Aah. Yeah. I liked it. And then it. just dropped a plane on them. Yes. Yeah. But I, I, th- I, it was like that again. It's like seems like an arbitrary change, but also kind of doesn't matter. And I just thought it was a nice no, twist. No, I think just like a- that I actually quite like because it, it was that. Aah. Yeah. And you were like, oh. Oh, what and is going to happen? It, and it was fucking cool. Because there know. is a plane crash in the game sequence. Yeah. It crashes into the petrol station. I am. Um, no, that's another bus. That's a car, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, cars. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really made myself giggle when that plane crashed because for a Louis' sp- farm. Where did I get Sam from? Then? Sam's later. Um, I, I got, know. Yeah, I know Sam's later, but I got. But you uh, also agreed with me. What yeah, I did. Yeah, I mean, I did the same thing. Um, I saw. Um, I had a really. I thought we really made myself giggle when that plane crashed for half a second. I thought, the fuck did an infected get a rocket launcher from? And I was like, no, the pilot's infected. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, uh, the the the. God, like. I love moments like what the fuck would you do if you were just in the street and there was a plane just mm. clearly like oh oh <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you live in Ifield I think that happens quite often yeah, you, oh true. fuck yeah shit well, I'm it's not runway. clearly <laughs> crashing though is it that's landing um, <laughs> just like what the fuck would you do like yeah and that would happen I really liked the I liked the um, shot earlier as well where it's like they're, they're clearly trying to land planes on the motorway yes yeah um, I just really like that and then obviously one of them just been like, oh well you're fucked now uh, crash crash boom I wasn't really sure cause it, this was just a slightly bizarre shot because I wasn't really sure on what actually crashed them because nothing hit them no, well actually they implied something like went through the back of the the windscreen but then it cut and then yeah. they were upside I, down shock wave could be fucking anything oh yeah I know but it, it just it 
and it just looked weird. And there was a there's a couple of those just felt something about the way it was shot, and then it just made it look weird. There it was a couple of weird cuts, like mm, weird edits. And I think but... there's one, there's one editing slash acting slash pacing thing at the end, at the very end that I had a problem with but we can get to that when we get there well I yeah I actually not had a problem with I, no, I, I just word things very negatively I, I compliment the way it was shot really well I think it was shot mm-hmm. like the game yeah it was excellent the cinematography in this is excellent and it's, but it's sick. just like the game like it oh it's so good like camera angles are like, there's a couple of bits where it's like that is a camera angle you only see in a game yeah but they've done it here and it works really fucking well because it's that nice little thing like a couple of things like there's a point when Tess and Joel walk through a door and it kind of does this like follow through from behind the way you'd see it in the game yeah oh, man, cool. I love the in the truck when they were in the truck yes and it was pretty much just obviously filmed from behind yeah. Sarah and just watching as they go through obviously they had the family where it's just like no don't pick them up no no, no. Cool. we have a kid so do we like that. so the next thing that, like, that then happens with this that I I get first went huh and then as it did I was like man this is fucking great is that you don't just jump straight to Joel and Tess in that apartment you get all that extra backstory mm-hmm. with Joel and Tess I loved all yeah, of it yeah you get all of that uh, I, I was going to say I loved when it. You, you first get the cut to 20 the kid? years later, the kid. Oh, man, so good. And I mm. find it really interesting because obviously in the games, we get Fedra or Scum. Yes. If that was in the game, that would have just been a bullet. Well, you kind of get a bit of it in the game. There's, as you're walking past with Tess, there's a thing where like the... And you can miss it if you're not looking for what's going oh, on the around lineup. you. Yeah, when yeah, you bring yeah, line yeah, up yeah. out. That's the closest to the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, that introduces outside. the scanners and the idea yeah. of their uh-huh. scanning. And, and, but this uh-huh. does it differently. But um, I think... I think doing it with a kid was fucking really important. Haunting, <laughs> Haunting but really important show the severity of how things have gotten. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I also think, like, I wonder if they're going to make Fedra a slightly bigger part. Cause we, I think so. Essentially, from the games, you don't really know anything about Fedra. No, you, you just know learn anything. You don't need to learn anything They're just about suits Fedra. with guns. Yeah, oh, yeah. And they're, they're no way in any way official. Yes. They just decide, they just took this yeah. amongst themselves. But as you say, you don't need anything about them. But no, I think in a TV no. show context, you do, which is why I think it's so good they're doing all this. Yeah, I'd, yeah. And it would depend. they may have plans to embed Fedra further into things because they already mm. they've embedded them more into things already mm. than yeah. they ever did in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. But I like the fact that they showed like they're not all just like mindless they're thugs. ruthless yeah. and obviously they do what they have to do this is the world that has been made it's been 20 years of this yeah. so they are going to kill that kid but they're not just going to shoot them in the back of their head yeah. and then obviously I think the fact that we're introduced to this 20 years hardened Joel the first thing he does is, does is throw that kid's body in a fire and doesn't give a shit. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, same. I, I think it's was, so important. Yeah, so and, do I. And that real, like, of who Joel is now and he's different. And I think that expands to give him more context of Tess and who she is and the things with Bill. Oh, Bill. Oh, fucking hell. Robert. Yeah. Robert. Robert. I don't like... At first, I didn't like that, like, oh, it was a car battery and not guns. I was like, why have they changed that? But then the more I think about it, it's like, actually, no, it makes sense because they're looking for a car battery because he wants to get to Tommy. Which was never the case in the... Uh, Yeah, but I think that's... Me, I like that because, like, it makes sense that actually you're giving more of a purpose as to why Joel would be pushing and caring because otherwise, it's like, why would he... Like, why isn't Joel just giving up? That's my biggest problem. Go. So it's going to be really hard for me to explain why, but I don't like the fact that Joel was already going to go. Right, okay. I, I, okay, I sort of see where you're going. I kind of feel like it takes the emphasis off of it being all about Ellie. Yeah. And I can't really... Mm-hmm. To be fair, though, he's not taking Ellie to Jackson. He's taking Ellie somewhere else completely. Then getting a car to go to Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but yeah. obviously this is going to be the, the. I can't. This is where it gets difficult. I can't. I know. I understand. <laughs> no, I can't I can't explain why cause we know where they're taking them. It's going to be the equivalent of the first stop. Yes. Um, but yeah, um, I can't really explain why. <laughs> I don't like overly, uh, and also, this is based off episode one. It yes. depends what they do with it. Yes, totally. So it's just a, it's a, it's a concern yeah, as opposed to a, as a, See, uh, I, an issue at this moment. I in don't time. think it's a problem. I actually took it as a good thing. I just liked seeing more of Joel having like, 
it makes sense why he would care enough to fight and do these things in the first place. Because that was almost that was the only thing I ever questioned about Joel was at this point, why the fuck does he give a shit? He's just smuggling like he's smuggling guns because that's how he lives. But it's like, why does he really mm. care? Like, why wouldn't he just go? This isn't worth the risk for some guns. I'll get another thing. Thanks. Yeah, but like. In the game, that was still only ever like implied, and I just yeah, but, yeah, but a I lot think of it was that just was just implied. Yeah, I think it was just enough to sort of make you. All right, I buy it, but having more of this, like, because he wants to get to Tommy, I think to me was just like, okay, I get why he's pushing to survive more and not yeah, just giving it's, up. Mm-hmm. It's more for me. It's kind of just, but you don't need that, and I can't. <laughs> no, I agree. I don't think you need it either. I, I just think, don't think it took anything away personally. Uh, uh, I but I do. I do see what you mean about Eddie, though. Yeah, it could I, it it could it <coughs> could very well not. Also, so I'm. It's just being. I'm just floating out. It, there it's for a concern, the right? Yeah, yeah, I don't issue. disagree yeah, with that yeah. concern. Either. Um, I can see if what happens happens in the way that you're concerned it would happen. I'd agree. Mm-hmm. And and it it might do. It might not. We don't know. We won't know for a while. Um, I imagine a good couple of episodes. Yeah, yeah. I imagine. Um, but uh, and one we're off air, I'll fully explain what I'm, what I mean. Mm. But um, I don't want to spoil anything, just in case it does happen, pretty much like the game does. Which I'm at, so far, I imagine it will. Yeah, because otherwise it's been pretty much beat for beat. Yeah, just with a few extra padded bits here and there, mm. which again, I, I I do I do really like them. All. I yeah, just the do. Mo- I also fucking loved seeing some stuff from Eddie's point of view before they meet. Yeah, I did. Because I found it fucking interesting just yep. to see what was going on with her. That was always been like my, like, what was going on with Eddie? I'd love to know more about what was going on with Eddie. And just seeing all that more stuff and seeing more about how she knows Marlene and the relationship there. And I I just really liked seeing it. And that comes from the, you know, the game you play from Joel's perspective. This you're kind of watching a bit more outside looking in. You're not playing as someone's perspective. So I, I kind of just liked having the opportunity to explore some different areas. I never really wondered because of Left Behind. It's implied that it's been like a day. Yeah, but we're going to get, we know anyway, we get left of time covered in this. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So Um, it's just building on that kind of thing. Yeah, I know, but I never really wondered what was happening with Ellie because we know it's been like a day since since the events of Left Behind happened, which obviously we won't say in here. Well, it's been a few days because, no, it's been a few weeks because she's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's three three weeks weeks, old. Three weeks. Because the bite's three weeks old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Potential right. future spoilers there. Sorry, everyone. No, they it's did really say that. They did. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, they did say that. Yeah. Um, um, but like... No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... The reveal of her... And it was straight away, it was so early. The whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, slow. Uh, one, two. <laughs> like, it was so early. Eight, nine, and like, fuck you. Yeah, and the, and the... Like, her just trying to get out the thing and the way the way she's talking to Marlene's like... Like, yeah, I put you there, Ellie. He's like... Are you my fucking mum or something? Like it's do so I look like, like your mum. Yeah. You do not. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it's so Ellie. I was like, this is just Ellie, and I fucking great. love it. I love that character. She's great, and I will say, like, going in purely because they never really showed any of her in the trailer, uh, in mm. any of the trailers. Um, she was the one I was most like curious yeah, about yeah. whether or not they would. Because yeah, they didn't show it, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Bella Ramsey is fucking brilliant. She is. To be fair, no, like she, she, she was amazing in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And I never doubted her ability. It was just yeah. like I've, I've never really seen her in anything other no, than I Game yeah, of Thrones. I haven't, so I was, I'm I, not sure she's done much big stuff other than no, Game of Thrones. No, I know she's got a movie coming out around about now I, as well. I but. did see because uh, I, I I hate myself for bothering doing. It. I saw on TikTok some cunt of an idiot um, was rating the casting based off the first episode, and they rated Mel Dandridge as the lowest of being nothing like her character. Idiot. <laughs> Just to point that out, Mel Dandridge plays Marlene in the show and uh, plays Marlene in the video game. <laughs> she's the only one that is she's, literally she's the, the same character. the only one who is the same fucking person. We need another play. Like, <laughs> a fu- I've, a always one. Said, I've always said COVID wasn't good enough. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we had a fungi infection. <laughs> it was ineffective. <laughs> it was. <laughs> From some of the people we fucking dealt with. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this moron. So that, no, no, I made you want to bring that up. Uh, idiots exist. What? Did you want to show me? No. I thought you were to you. No. <laughs> I meant the... <laughs> I meant the moron <laughs> of the, 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 the <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. I, was, I just saw the corner of my eye. You went this moron. No, I was like, what is that? Also a moron, but just for different reasons. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> But I, I love seeing all the extra. I genuinely love seeing the extra stuff with Ellie. I yeah, really I, did, and uh, I liked the. 
I, I the fuck I liked the first time they meet as well. I liked it was a bit different. I liked the just yeets her into the wall. Just fucking yeets her. But she's fucking great with him. And I th- even that thing, it's like you're already seeing that kind of chemistry between them. It's like, yeah, they've got a chemistry. I can see already it's gonna be fucking great. And the You whole- can tell just from like outside of the show stuff as well. Yeah, I yeah. always like that when you can tell. Yes. With a, a, but in like interviews and mm. stuff, you can tell. Which you got with Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. It was like when, when, yeah. when Kenobi was doing the rounds and you could see like Ewan and Hayden, Hayden Christensen yeah. just having a fucking great time yep. doing their junkets and stuff. Yeah. And, like, this is good. This implies that we're going to get some good yeah. shit from like the performances. And that, that was always the same with... Um, uh, Pedro and Bella. Yeah, as well, you get though. with Tom Holland and the rest of the Marvel stuff, like cast as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of them obviously have great chemistry as well. But yeah, mm. it's 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 good. To, and yeah, that scene is excellent. It's, I like how it's essentially the same, essentially the same, but kind of a little bit kind different at the same slightly time. Slightly yeah. different, yeah. And obviously how how they get there is incredibly different. I'm not sure any of it was. I don't know what it did really. Obviously, I I, I, I agree in the change to a degree because. Uh, with uh, with Robert, I'm um, um, because a lot of that was just to teach you gameplay stuff, so yes. it's very dragged mm-hmm. out. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So you um, can't do that in the same. way If no. they had done that in the same way in the show, we'd have been like, "What the fuck is happening?" No, right? obviously mm-hmm. you could do the same story beat, but condense it. Yeah, down, I just don't like, think it would have come across as well. No, like I, I just I, I think you can. Obviously, you just have. So they did most of it. They did the yeah. They to did find a lot someone of it, yeah. to find Robert, and then you could have gotten to the point where you don't found him. Had a bit of a chase See, and then did their final. I cutting. really, really. And that's how they meet Marley. Yeah. I think you still could have done that. I don't think what we got was in any way worse off. Yeah. For doing it that way. But. I really liked. Um, Actually, I'm going to talk about a bit I really liked and a bit I didn't like at the same time. So the first time you see Joel and Tess together is that apartment scene, which is from the game. Mm-hmm. I don't like that she came in the room and immediately cuddled him in bed. I do and don't. Yeah, I'm on this weird do and don't as well. <laughs> I think... Care, we have to be careful around here, by the way. Potential future spoilers here. Oh, no, it's not. It's for the game. We've had it in the film. Don't worry about it. So in the game, it's implied later on. There's a there's a subtle implication that they have a romantic thing going on, but nothing is ever said explicitly, which I've always liked in the game. This one is far more explicit with like, okay, there's clearly some kind of thing there in a more explicit way, I'd say. To, yeah. Uh, I also think it shows it really helps to sell really quickly just the trust yes that in this like that like he doesn't even Bad react right. yeah to the fact that that happened so i think it just shows this level of trust uh and also it doesn't necessarily imply yeah i guess they could just be romance, a cuddly just, friendship uh, like we they, cuddle we do we, we spooned do. in the past yeah we fellated <laughs> And I held the camera. New going rogue comes in. God, imagine that rate tasting ranking. Shut up. <laughs> were you jealous? Yes and no to the were you jealous? Because I would like to be the small spoon for Pedro Pascal. <laughs> yeah, this is fair. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't dislike it. What I will say though, because we haven't really talked about it. Spot fucking on performance. Yeah. Yes, bang on. Oh yeah. my god, so I lo- good. I liked. I always liked in the game as well. This sort of like subtle idea that she's sort of like in charge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's just like, yeah, all right. But I like the stuff they did in this when she's like, hey, look, like I need you to take a breath, and then I want you to hurt him. And I love yeah. this is kind of like. So I told, when, I told when, him that well, you, you wouldn't hurt him. And, and I very him. much want you to I fuck him. Want him. Want I like him. this <laughs> idea though that we're being given there that like Joel is Joel is quite willing and quite capable of fucking people up. And it's that little hint of you wait until you fucking you know what you're gonna get. And I like the idea that Robert is blatantly scared of him. Yeah. He's terrified. I mean Terri- like, I would be. Oh yes. Yeah. But I think mm. I think that like this thing early on that like what Joel is capable of being built this early is so important. Not even just for what happens in the rest of this series, but if they do go into what part two is like, I think it's really important to be building that kind of like that he's a he's a force. He is a force and you don't want to reckon with force. Um I was confused that Teth seems to be a Teth Tess seems to be a big person because anything I've heard of this is always Joel and Ellie. Well Joel and Ellie are the leads. Yeah, they're the leads. But yeah. Tess is a really important character. Well, Tess was, is very important. The character. was that good. I was convinced it was the same uh, the same. I, I thought it was no, it's not. Not. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, but my god, spot. Yeah, nailed it. Spot fucking on. I, I looked it up after 
Um, because it certainly wasn't. Yeah, no, I was the same. It isn't. Okay. Yeah, totally the same. She looks more like Tess than the than the voice yes. actress does. Oh, does does she? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, it's great. Yeah. Real good. As we've said, it doesn't matter what someone looks like. No, not at all. As long as real, they get real good mannerisms done. And um, obviously, then you get to the sort of final scene with the guard and scanning them as they're escaping. God, it beats the shit. Now, before we get to that. I really liked that the sneaking scene was like going through the pipes and stuff like they have from the, yeah. like that's a yeah. game mechanic really. <laughs> but I, I liked saw, that they kept that uh, in. Before I saw the episode, I found it really funny. There's someone I follow, uh, one of them, just this gaming guy I follow on Twitter. He's a YouTuber, Dunkey. Have you ever seen? Yeah, I know the name. No, Dunkey. Um, he's very funny, but he just tweeted out a picture of say, um, uh, they've even included the ladders, a 10 out of 10 adaptation. Yep. And oh, the crouching. I saw a fucking brilliant tweet where someone was like, that scene with the ladder, it was like, this scene is so unrealistic because Joel didn't have to look for that to pick it up, accidentally put it down again, <laughs> try and hit against the wall, but then you put it down in front of the wall. And there's also going to, there's I, there's going to be a couple of points where he's going to boost Ellie onto something. I'm sure it's going to oh, happen. Yeah. He better definitely. do something with the fucking floating board. Yeah, the well, manic drill. Yeah, <laughs> the, the floating board, they need to do something with that. Or like where he most goes to move a crate or something. And she's just like, really? Like just yeah. so, something like that would be great. Like, what? I need to go up there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> what was so? Um, Craig Mazin or Mazin or whatever. Mazzini has. Mazzini, um, I think. It doesn't have a. It ends in an N. Oh, does it? Oh, fine. It's a nice way. I'm pretty sure it does. I got. I'm, I'm probably wrong. On it. But on it. he has said that Joel won't be sneaking as much in the show. Yeah, as I saw the, this in the game. Because a 56-year-old man can't crouch for no. more than three minutes at a time, no. and I was like. I am a 29-year-old man who can't crouch no. for more than three minutes at a time. Have you ever tried Craig crouch? Ma- Craig Mazin. Or Mazin. Yeah, Mazin, Mazin, I don't know how you pronounce it. But, um, like, I've had a trainer make me crouch walk. It's fucking difficult. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> uh, I, I hated him. I murdered him, in fact. <laughs> Did you murder him like Joel murdered the guy at the end? S- slightly more pussyfoot from afar. Than I fucking him. loved it so that much, was. Man. That was. I both loved, and when I said there was a weird thing with this scene, it was Zin at, at the end. It was with this scene, but that I love the fact that he just. What was the weird thing? Beat him senseless. It was the when Tess noted, noticed the scanner. That whole thing happened in possibly 0.3 seconds. <laughs> it oh, did, it's yeah. kind of in the background because the focus is still on Joel. Yeah, and it's weird, and I. Didn't like it. I agree it's weird, but I imagine it will get picked up on early in the oh, next episode. Oh, well, yeah. I imagine, the, I imagine episode two is going to start with the argument, I yeah. imagine. But Yes, that's my assumption. But uh, it was just like, because that is that dialogue exchange. I feel like if you were going to have that, I think you should save the actual dialogue exchange for well, I think thing, as, and then have something weird. But it was just like, that's not what you think. I'm not sick. It's been three weeks and it just happened so yeah. fucking but, fast. <sighs> It does, but the focus of the whole thing is still on Joel. It he, is, and it it's is, like, but, but, and what he's going through. So I think that will get picked up beginning of the next episode, and will make it make more sense. And I think the whole point is that whole sequence was really about Joel. And there's a number of things they did throughout that final sequence, which I fucking loved. Some of it they speak about in the podcast. Some of it they don't. So, first thing is obviously he knows that God. Mm-hmm. That guard we, he did the drug deal. That guard he gets induced to earlier, and they're somewhat friends. Yeah, he's going right? to be trying to get him a get him a. Yeah, he's clearly got yeah. maybe not friends, but he's clearly like he's there a, is a, a, a there is a personal yeah. connection of some form. He's not just a thug, right? Then what's happening is that guard is pointing a gun at him and a young girl, reminding him, and you're seeing those flashbacks of his daughter. I was say, they're, they're not being subtle about that. No, yeah, 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 but like obviously that's not something that happens in the game. The game happens no. a little bit differently. But I think this is really good. I do think it's really good, and it's kind of like. In that moment, it is, I'm not going to let this happen again. I'm protecting this girl and I'm not fucking letting this happen. And I'm, and almost pick, you're the guard that killed Sarah and turns to brutally beat the sh- yeah, beat PTSD the man is to a very effective death. Tool. Yeah. Even though he knows him and essentially a friend to beat this man to death for really no good reason at this point. He could have got away with a couple of light punches and run, I should imagine. But no, he's going to beat him to death and the anger on his face and everything. But here's the next two things I fucking loved about this sequence. One, Ellie. Ellie's reaction is brilliant because she just turns to the side and stands and just watches over and watches it happen. And she's just watching, watching this man beat the head out of this other guy for her, essentially. And what they talk about in the podcast, and I, I 
thought about it when it was happening. Earlier in the in the show, when Sarah watches Joel beat someone to death, she's distraught, totally distraught. Um, I'll read that message in a minute. It's long. Um, she's totally distraught. I can't believe you just killed that person. Even though that person was charging them and going to kill her, it's I can't believe you're going to kill that person. In contrast... I don't know if you're even listening at this point. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> the contrast, yeah. In contrast, Ellie, this person doesn't need to die for her, but she is not broken down. She's almost enjoying it. And what they talk about in the show, in the podcast, like she's activated by the idea of someone being there to protect her, and particularly him. This idea that he's going to protect her. And that's kind of what becomes the whole point of the theme of the game going forward as well, is that relationship coming mm. from that he's going to protect her and she's never had that. She's never had that father figure. She's never had someone to protect her. And you're seeing it here. But what I, the other thing they did with it, which I really liked, is all the way through that sequence beforehand, Ellie does not break eye contact with Tess. Until they get caught, she does not break eye contact with Tess. She's not looking at Joel. As they're falling through a thing, she is constantly looking at Tess. And there's loads of shots of her really obviously eye contact, watching Tess. What is Tess doing? Because that's who she's related to at this point. She relates to her mother. And yeah, I think suddenly it, I think it's kind of implied that um, she's very much had maternal figures, maternal figures her, in life, and life. doesn't know how, doesn't know what a father figure is. Joel, she's not sure on Joel, and then as soon as that moment happens, ah, yeah, I do you. think it was, I do think it was really good. I think I fucking loved it. They could, I don't think they will because a Craig Mazin is or Mazin is very good what he does and as is Neil Druckmann mm. so I'm not overly worried about anything in terms of story going forward it is possible that they push that element a bit too far mm, yeah um, anything's possible yeah I mean like that, that it's going to be a, and it will be very easy to do to um, push that too far in A her feeling like she needs protecting because Cause there's an element of her which isn't like that. Yeah, there's an element of her she can handle herself. But it's not that she, not that she feels like she needs protecting. Is she likes like, the yeah, idea? She likes it. Yeah, I get that. But also she's, she's somewhat immune to it. But that she is still affected by violence. Yes. In, yeah. in, in the game. Yeah, um, and I think I feel like that you can't make her too immune. I think we're going to get that still. I think we're going to get her affected by. There's violence, obviously so. a, b- a particular. I know. Particular moment. I don't want you talking about. No. no yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're obviously going to get that. That's a very different. That's a very different thing. But. Um, but yeah, obviously, like even through some of the just random like parts of the game, like not even important bits, you still get like, a yeah. mildly. And it's kind of like mm. a slow build into this fully okay. She was always reasonably okay with it. You've grown up. Yeah, in, well, in that, this world, you're going and to also, be you okay know, in with that it. sequence in the game. She still does the initial stab. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's straight out of the game. Yeah, that's straight out of the game. Craig, just before we Craig, uh, Craig Mazin, Mazin, whoever he is. So very, very good, as we say. Made Chernobyl. It was brilliant. Do you know what else he's made? No. Scary movie four. Oh dear. Superhero movie, and uh, sc- uh, the Hangovers part two and three, and scary movie three. So we know comedy's not his thing. Yeah, come yeah. On. yeah. Yeah. So he's clearly a drama drama writer and director. <laughs> um, comedy's found, not his thing. No, he's no, finally no. found his. He's, he's found found a fucking good comedy. You know, he, he's he tried found his calling. God. <laughs> Don't you love it when someone quite blatantly finds their fucking calling? Oh, yeah. Because he was writing comedy movies for that long and never succeeded once. They are all dog shit. Yes. Yep. Dog Absolute shit. Absolute pure crap. A hangover It's much two. like us in this channel. We've just not found our calling yet. And at the we moment, found our calling, but no one appreciates <laughs> That's it. That's oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Because um, we're excellent. But... <laughs> I think it's comments like that that are the main problem. <laughs> Probably. Because um, like maybe The Hangover Part 2 is passable. Everything else on that list is fucking yeah. dog shit. And I actually think he should have been in prison for superhero movies. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I think he was. <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> like, absolutely fucking should have been. But then he moves on to... A, was it just from that to Chernobyl? Oh, no. That, that, hang on. I've always I am... Uh, I'm DV here. So. Well, that's, I, I, I did assume you weren't texting him personally. No, no, no. I checked it earlier. I, I mean, if you were, I'd be pissed off you haven't got him on the fucking <laughs> show. <laughs> no, I. Uh, so he did something called Rocket Man uh, in 1997. 
Uh, Hang no, on. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing to do with that one, John. <laughs> I know uh, what film that is, and it's fucking stupid and hilarious at the okay. same time. It's a kid's Disney movie about a, the idiot man, essentially, who ends up being the first man going to Mars. It's Identity fucking stupid. Thief, that sucks. The Huntsman yeah. Winter's War. No idea what that, that is. Sucks. Mythic Quest. Okay, that's quite good, apparently. Okay, don't uh, Only one episode, though, and then Chernobyl. So it's a weird so, jump. But y- he goes from The Huntsman Winter's War, which is like an alternate... This is really weird because the Huntsman movies started out as Snow White movies. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. the sequel just had nothing to do with Snow White, which is fucking odd. And then he went from that to Chernobyl. To Chernobyl. And mm. then they, what? Someone like, yeah. You know when you find your partner, you Re- find your team. And HBO is clearly his. Really team. interesting story on the podcast about how he got to doing this with Neil as well. It's yeah. Interesting. The biggest thing I learned from Chernobyl Basically, is it's happy stance, <laughs> To be fair. The, the biggest thing I learned from Chernobyl is uh, don't go there because if you do, Chernobyl fall off. Ah, that's my favourite joke, but I chose not to make it. <laughs> I don't think you need to say don't go to Chernobyl. Yeah. Isn't it? Don't, why don't you go don't to go to, to the, yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't it because well, Chernobyl right, fall off? Yeah, or the worst thing about a nuclear <laughs> fallout or whatever because Chernobyl yeah. fall off. Yeah. It's a good gag, good gag. I'm very, who's Rabbit Hole Media? That sounds insane. Because <laughs> Rich is there. So who's on the rabbit hole thing? I think he's switching between two devices and just fucking with us. Are you doing a beet rice? Because I will not take another beet rice on this channel. <laughs> what? Princess Jack. beet rice. Yeah, Jack knows Princess beet so rice. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not yeah. playing this game. Oh, yeah. Fuck off, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> You're an autonomous rabbit. Yeah. You're fired. Um. Uh, <laughs> um. Anyway. Wrapping up. I'd yeah, there is time. a clicker on the uh, roof of the building at the end in the wide shot. There is. You mean it's a me? Me, a witch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I fucking love it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I'm so excited to see where it goes. Well, not see where it goes, but see how they continue to do things and what else they're going to give us. Got a pretty good idea where it's going. Yeah, um, <laughs> but, I, but I know they're going to give us more. That's clearly yes. what they're going to do is keep expanding, give us more, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what that is. Decided. I'm bored of these weekly shows now. We have a moment where we go. We go, it's all, it's all weekly. And then Netflix brought us the binge. And then we're like, oh, binging is oh. a bit much. Binging yeah. is a bit much. Uh, let's go back to weekly. I'm bored of that now. Give me the binge. Give me yeah. the binge. I totally agree. I just, Absolutely. I, I, just want, uh, I just want all of it. And don't but put a I'm fucking month break in the middle, Netflix. Please. Netflix? Yeah, they put breaks. No, I'm saying when they do binges. They, I'm not saying this is Netflix. I'm saying when they do binges, it's annoying when they put a break in the middle. Haven't they done that once? A couple of times. They did it with You, uh, two series of You they did it. They did it with and Stranger Things more recently. And I think with other things as well that I've just not seen. So confused. So they release half a season? Yeah, we'll like keep the last four episodes back for a couple of weeks. What it's fucking weird. Time. I think it's to make sure people don't just cancel when they've seen what they want to see so they get another month's subscription out of the people. Of course, who course are it is. It's to keep the conversation for one show. going for longer as well. Yeah, true. Rich, I agree. I think I would actually, no, I don't agree. I think it's the perfect start. I yeah. Honestly, I think it's fucking perfect. I thought it was outstanding. Yeah, I loved it. I loved have no real it. issues. There are weird, you, you text me afterwards saying that was a weird experience for me. Yeah. <laughs> Jarring is the word that I would use. It was jarring because there were these weird little, like, subtle changes that made you go, oh, "Hang on, that's not how it goes." Uh, like, so it was jarring from someone that I know that I know it so well. Because mm-hmm. yeah, it's not just like, "Oh, I know the game. I played the game once." It's like I, f- I know that inside. Fuck yeah! I yeah. I yeah. love this fucking thing. I know it so well. It's so ingrained in me. Yeah, we could do the three of us a very in-depth episode on that game right now, having not played. I it. reckon we could we probably. Did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we did, with yeah. Yourself, didn't you did. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, sorry, you weren't here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I, I reckon we could probably just reenact it. Oh, that gives me another idea. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we um, should finish the first project first. <laughs> first. I was about to immediately then blow out a line in the accent, but we haven't got there yet, so we'll do it afterwards. Um, yeah, man, I fucking loved it. I, I, I love the love the franchise. I, I really have nothing bad to say about this. I had such a good time, but a good time in that weird Last of Us way. <laughs> it's not a good time yeah. but it was a good time you were thoroughly engrossed oh man thoroughly oh, engorged and like Camilla has watched me play the game because I fucking made her she like <laughs> she likes games she loves games she's playing Spider-Man right now as we speak she has just platinum Horizon Zero Dawn she's well into no. her games but she won't play this because she's, she's scared she finds these things scary she doesn't like the scariness fair enough she also doesn't really like like linear based games fair enough but I was like you've got to experience this at some point this is I think before we knew the show was coming so I played, I was like, 
I'm gonna play and you're gonna watch me because you've got a fucking experience this. And she was like, Yeah, it's really good. Like she happily sat and watched me play it all mm. as a testament to how good it is. And then announced the show. I was like, I'm so pleased you're gonna be able to watch this show and really see it. And she was looking forward to watching it, but nervous. And she said it was right on the edge for her for being like too tense and too much for it. So she's fucked with episode two, I'm sure. Because <laughs> I'm I'm convinced it's gonna get <laughs> substantially oh, yeah. fucking worse. Um but she loved it. She's really good. And like, yeah. you know, I come in as parents are going to watch it. I'm going to make my dad watch it. These my people that it. have not been able to experience it yet. And that, you know, you said this about Lizzie's dad at the beginning. Like, this is what I think is so good about this existing is it is a chance for what I think is generally one of the best fucking stories told to be experienced by a group of people that don't have the opportunity to experience it. Because although games are somewhat accessible, they're not to some people. No. Some people just cannot get on with that medium. Or, yeah. you know, there are some people that are ignorant to it, fine, but there are some people who just can't do it. And like, that was, that's what Lizzie's dad was like. We actually tried to get him to play a bit of Last of Us yeah. uh, probably about a year ago or six months ago, something like that. And he was like, yeah, he was like, I'm sure it's very good, but I just, he's all over the place. And, and doesn't know and what that's going to gonna hinder that guys. experience yes. as well. Something that we take for granted. Yeah, and some people just can't do the two thumbs. Yeah, mm. exactly. Mm. And if you're gonna, yeah, you can probably learn in time. But Last of Us is not the game to learn with. God, no, like, no. so like a first person shooter or something like that is what you learn on. A right? game that's just not <laughs> like there, a, not. maybe a game that's just not so heavy on story that the your ability to play the game is going to affect, affect your experience with it. Yeah, like yeah. that's the thing. Whereas it's quite funny because Lizzie had played some games growing up. Mm. She'd had a PS2, I think, an Xbox and a Wii. Not not to the level that, say... Huh? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> and uh, when we... Here we? When we first uh, got Please together... Please don't be. <laughs> when we first got together, um, one of the... When we get to know each other and there's some games and that, she was like, oh, what do you think I'd like? I was like, oh, fucking play this. Like, I, I stuck uh, Last of Us Remastered on my PS4. And it's now one of her, if not her favourite story ever. Yeah. She she is fucking. So we 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 couldn't when we got the part two, we couldn't decide who was going to play it first. So we just played it together and we're just swapping yeah. over for bits. And uh, it was because that was the only yeah, way we could I mean, get around. I it. had a, I've had a similar conversation with Camilla about Harry Potter. We're not sure we weren't sure how we're going to do that, but I opted for buy another PlayStation. We're very yeah. different people. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm just so pleased that these other people are going to experience it. And so far, the reaction has been exactly what I'd expect. From actual people, overwhelmingly positive. There's a couple of nonsense reviews online, yeah, I've and that. I'm ignoring them. Because this, saw... this franchise will always be review-bombed, review but people would like to hate on this game, and people would like to hate on Naughty Dog because of its fashion. So I always ignore that. I ignore most of the things on the internet, because if I don't... As do I. If, mm -hmm. if I didn't, I think I actually would end up hurting myself. I yeah. had two instances, and I sent them both to you this morning, and it was pre-8am. Pre yeah, and... I, I won't, why I'd seen the internet and it had upset me. And I won't lie, I got from you and went, don't send me that this early in the morning. You do it to me. <laughs> I know. Maybe not pre 8 a.m. But that's the difference. Two instances. One. Uh, Basically, I woke up and thanks to you, I was depressed. Yes. Yes. One, apparently, not only is Harry Potter transphobic now, it transphobic. is yes. transphobic. Trans Transphobic. There we go. Got there in the end. But it's also anti-Semitic and racist and anti-homophobic. Oh, and uh, no, anti not anti-homophobic. Homophobic. Uh, homophobic. Ho homophobic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the other one was uh, just pure. Oh, M Mindy sexual killing, assault. sexually assaulting someone and making a joke of it. Yeah. It's yeah, fun, yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. 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 How? Yes. Yeah. Female actors are allowed to sexually assault people, threaten to fire people if they ever tell anyone, yeah. and then just openly talk about it on a chat show, and no one will do shit. Yeah. What Fucking the fuck great. was this? Uh, one of the uh, Mindy actresses killing. from The Office. Have yeah. you ever seen The American Office? Yeah, yeah I've seen it. Watching um, it at the moment. Oh. Hang on, Mindy. Is she the one that's playing Velma? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's promoting Velma, and she was. She said she uh, unconsensually forced herself onto someone, told people that if they ever said anything to anyone about it, she would fire them, and and then um, told that story as an told, anecdote on a talk show. Yeah, and then everyone was fine with it. They, I don't think they've said who it yeah, was. Was. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No, I just want to point out that I misheard that as something incredibly racist. <laughs> oh, oh, really? oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh God. dear. 
Which is but what it also make no Jack, sense. Jack, you could have just kept that to yourself and we would have got away with it. I feel like now you've made it the problem. Yeah, no, you have. I said I misheard it. Right. I made a so, Scooby-Doo joke. All right. <laughs> I know you do. I know you did, but I'm saying I misheard it. It's a cracking Scooby-Doo joke, Thank by you. the way. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby-Doo joke. Do you know what it isn't? There's pink hair in the writer's room nonsense version of Let's Scooby-Doo. Let's not go into that. We're not doing it. Oh, I don't know. I've, I'm paying no attention to it. I couldn't We're not getting into fuck. that today. Point is that, yeah, what I was going for, there is some ridiculous views online. You know, I had a look through when it launched, like, what people's, like, consensus. I was just intrigued. And some of the fucking reviews I saw on fucking Meta. Oh, yeah, they're all a load like, of what are you talking about? You've clearly not even watched it. Like, the one, like that the, really, over again. the one that really pissed me off was uh, Elia's Orc. Yeah, yeah, I'm ignoring it. But yeah. mostly, the reviews are fucking outstanding. Yes, um, the real ones. Yeah. Yes, and it's like the fucking like one of the highest rated shows. It's like the highest rated show on IMDb at the moment, I think, like ever, like beating it's out. So far, it's the it's the overtook Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah. which is wow. insane. Um, like it's done over ten million views Most in two days critics, for HBO. So the critic scores, they've seen the whole series, haven't yes. they? As well, mm. yeah. yeah. So that's not really going to change. Yeah, no, the audience score might, but. But yeah, but I don't see how it works. Cause man, I, I, I always had a certain amount of faith in this, but I don't see how they can fuck this up from here. It doesn't make sense to me. The idea very good. There was a running, it's a running joke. Um, oh. The idea of them fucking it up just is incomprehensible to me. I can't get that now. I can't see how it happened. You, they nailed this first episode. They would have to make an absolute so much. Bad shit decision. And I, I just, mm. and and I don't see that happening. Yet. I, it's just not Neil Druckmann's way. Neil Druckmann hasn't put a foot wrong yet. I don't think. I think he just knows what he's fucking doing. Yeah. No, I, there was a, there was one moment in part two that I thought this is very out of place. But other than that, and I, that's not story related. That's more gameplay. I know moment. what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Racking. Yes. Yeah. It's more of a uh, gameplay problem for mm. me than a story problem. Yes. Um, but um, which, to be fair, isn't really Neil's department. No. So mm. uh, I might let him off on that. Um, yeah, no, right. I'm, I'm sign off that. on it though. Yeah. But yeah, um, I'm just I'm I'm so glad that they've got it right so far, and I'm so glad that more people, more people are going to get to experience it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that I get to experience it again in this different way. Like I'm I'm just thrilled I get to do that because it's almost it's almost what we said the other week of imagine getting to do play Last of Us for the first time again. It's almost that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not quite, but it's the closest we'll ever get to that. I heard and somebody I'm so say fucking that I'm happy. so jealous for lucky people who are experiencing this for the first time. Oh, yeah. I you mean, know. I don't know if, it's the, if this is the best way to experience it for the first time. I do think if you play games and this is your first time experiencing it, you've made a mistake. Go and play yeah. the game. I do think that mm -hmm. um, because the game is the first thing yeah. and it's fucking outstanding. Um, and I still stand by my argument of like so many things it does well is because it's a video game. I will yeah. continue to stand by that argument. Yeah. And I think they're doing a great job of adapting that. And I think they're going to continue to, mm -hmm. but that doesn't change what the way some of those experiences are just by default going to be presented to you differently and come across a different manner. Call it a video game. So I do think if you have the opportunity to, and you haven't, you've made a mistake, but for those people that don't have access to it or aren't able mm -hmm. to play games or whatever, or just frankly not interested in video games as a concept, they're going to get to do this. And I mean, it's great. Yep, it's fantastic. More of it, more of it, and man, was, it's got me excited for so many things. It's got me going. I fucking want to know what factions is so much now. I just oh, yeah. want to oh, know. Like, it's um, it, it, it sparked this idea of how much from this. I I feel like PlayStation Productions are going to learn from this and be like, right, this is how we need to make these adaptions. I'm work. wondering yeah. how involved they are, but they'll be involved in the sense that they'll know what it is. They'll know what's been done. For sure, and they'll know, and they'll see the fucking and response. they'll see the results. Uh, the so I'm thinking, is, like, I think pretty much all of the uh, there is a large amount of the things that they've announced that will be too far gone. Is the God of War is the main one I'm thinking. I don't think that will be because that's only just been ordered. Mm, oh yeah. So sure. that's the main one I'm thinking. Sure. Uh, like that, they then need to. For me, it's almost at a similar enough level to this. Oh, it uh, needs oh, to be as good. It needs it to be. To, yeah, yeah, absolutely, it has to be. The problem is, is Amazon. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, for uh, sure. But, but Corey Barlog the, is the executive showrunner on it again in the sure, same way Neil Druckmann sure. is on this. So that and alone is like, okay, they're getting it. They're feeding that idea of we need to get the right creators behind it. So I'm hoping that they're taking into account what Neil's done with this, what Craig's done with this, how well it's going down and making sure that Corey's going to do the same thing. with. Mm -hmm. And I think Corey alone like, will be like, I know what I need to do with this. And if I've got this opportunity and I... And, not forgetting he knows Neil personally and it's going to be like give him some point, but it? not even that it's gonna, there's gonna, they're going to have a little bit of like almost a rivalry in a way surely yeah. of like I need to make sure that I'm not doing worse than him <laughs> like he's my 
I can't. There's the I, bar. He's I'm, got yeah. to. Like, I, Naughty Dog is the bar. Like, it just yeah, is. It is. I, like, it is. I don't think anyone can actually legitimately argue that. I think and, in terms of storytelling and presentation, Naughty yes. Dog are the bar in terms yeah. of gameplay. It's insomniac. I, think. I completely yes. agree with you. Wildly agree. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and, yeah, and that can also change because I do think that. That's, I think Naughty Dog have found that perfect balance between gameplay and story as well, mm-hmm. to be fair, though. Mm-hmm. So, the gameplay like, is never bad. It's just yeah. not leading yeah. the charge. And that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I still argue, and we will do it one day, I still don't think that's the case of part two. I think part two's gameplay is next level. But I think part two is incredibly slept on for its gameplay, mainly because you just have to understand how to use it to make the most out of it. For and sure. If, it's one of those don't. systems of, like, it can be fine, but also if you... If you know how to utilise it... You can do some shit. Yes, I think it's mind-boggling what that game can do. And Jesus. Jesus. We're not doing the God of War episode. But to answer your question... (laughs) Wait, are we saying... Are we saying... I just just saw that. I wonder what the fuck you were doing. Rich, is the the question, just to be clear, is it who do you want or who do we think it's going to be? Who do I think it's going to be? I think it's going to be either Dave Bautista or Dave, uh, Jason McMahon. I agree, mm-hmm. but it's not who I want. No, I want Christopher Jones. Yes, yeah. I want Christopher yeah, Jones as well. I think it's the obvious one. <laughs> I think it'll be Seth Rogen. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can you just give me your Seth Rogen laugh again for me, please? <laughs> you just went around high all the time. That was more like Jimmy Carr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy Carr could play great. That's a good idea. <laughs> Jimmy Carr can be boy. Yeah, they're uh, just going around avoiding paying their tax. It's, uh, I would like, it would be great if you could kind of like reverse time a little bit and then you could have Christopher Judge and Sonny Siljic because that would be obviously the ideal thing. But unfortunately, Sonny's a bit old. Yeah, you age out. Um, I don't think it will be Chris Judge. They just won't do it. No, either. I don't think they're brave enough. Yeah, I don't think they're brave enough either. I do think he's the only correct casting though. I agree. Because he embodies correct. I agree, but we all know what the idiots on the internet would be saying. Mm. They're oh, yeah. complaining about whiteface. Yes, I'm aware. Um, considering I mean, but ignoring the fact that it's actually part of the character and the, the yeah. story and that he's Pedro not Pedro, a white yeah. guy Tom Holland has uh, maybe it should be Pedro boy. Pascal again <laughs> <laughs> it would from be now on Pedro funny. Pascal's in everything <laughs> it would be very funny if he led every Playstation production yeah. <laughs> he's also playing Aloy but yeah. he, we didn't really talk about it He's fucking excellent. Oh my <laughs> god, he oh, is. Okay, so like, good. That for, uh, it was the, when you see him and he's doing the drug deal, just the way he's standing there, I was like, man, he's Joel. He is, is he? just, all of them, I just like, I'm not, I, Pedro Pascal is an actor I know. I know Pedro Pascal. I've seen him in a number of things. Oh, yeah. Like, major thing. Mandalorian, for one. Like, yeah, Game of Thrones. I haven't seen in, that. Oh, but like, like Pedro Pascal stars as knack. <laughs> <laughs> But I've seen him in a number of things. Like, he's one of the, those actors where I've seen him so much, like, I know he's Pedro Pascal. Mm-hmm. But he's not in this. I'm not looking at him going, mm-hmm. Pedro Pascal. I'm going, Joel. Yeah. Joel. He's just got it. And I think that's the same with all of them. Like, I'm just going, yep, yep, that's Joel. That's Eddie. That's Tess. I get it. I see it. It's all fucking working. I really hope. All working. I really hope one of the films that he watches with uh, with Ellie later on is Careful. Uh, is Careful. Two. Okay, fair enough. Let's see where you're going. <laughs> I'd accept this joke. <laughs> that was a good joke. What a movie. What, that <laughs> what Padding, Paddington, Paddington 2? Paddington 2, or or Paddington 2 yeah. the unbearable way of it, it was very, really very good. good. I laughed I'm glad so, you guys watched it so then, often it was, during that. Like every, every like two or three minutes, I was I was genuinely laughing out loud at something. Like Pedro Pascal is a delight in that oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Um, so is Cage, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There's a movie coming out that I really want to see with Nicolas Cage playing a vampire. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, he's playing Dracula. Dracula. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, and uh, that seems like perfect for Nicholas Cage. I agree. It? But uh, anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Uh, uh, yeah, Pedro Pascal is phenomenal. I think his two best performances are ones where you kind of forget it's him. Yes. Um, which is Joel and I think the Mandalorian as well. You kind of forget it's him, largely because you can't see his face. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a number of times. And then he gets told off for it. No, yeah, he's it. Naughty. And then, um, <laughs> Have you seen the trailer for season three? I haven't seen no. the trailer. I obviously know it's coming, but um, but uh, I kind of might just not watch it because it's so uh, soon. I watched mm. it, and there's when is it? Uh, March. It's Beginning it's March. a vague trailer, but there's a there's a there's a hint to another character coming back, which I don't know if it'll be genuine or not, but I kind of want it to be. I mean, if it's in the trailer, I imagine the hint is. It's a vague hint. I see. I see. How vague? Fairly vague. I'm going to watch the trailer and try to see if I can, if it's vague enough for me to spot it. 
I will not say they go. I'll, into I'll it, talk about it off air because I don't. I know some people like to avoid these things in the Discord and yeah. stuff like that, so I won't do it here. But no, I'm, I'm not too fussed with the Mandalorian. I do like the Mandalorian. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably my favourite Star Wars property. God yeah. Um, it's between that and uh, Clone Wars, mate. I haven't finished it yet, but actually, Andor is fucking. I good. need to start. I it. need to watch it. Yeah, mm. yeah. I've, obviously, I've only heard good things. But it starts off slow, but like, man, I don't mind slow. There is, I think it's like episode three or four. Like episode one and two is like oh, okay. Episode three is like okay. This is getting interesting. I think it's episode four. But fuck! I was like, shit. Where the fuck did that come from? And like, I finished it. I said to her, I was like, that was like real good she was like yeah it was really good and I was like no but that was like proper fucking good TV in general that was great and the follow up episode, I think we're on episode 5 now which we've seen um, so we'll be on episode 6 won't we um, but like it's so far like staying really good so yeah I think that's great so far I will watch it it's just obviously all the Star Wars stuff has thrown me off of Star Wars so I need to kind of yeah I was myself. not interested in this at all I was like this is the most least interesting character in Star Wars I don't care but man they've made it great yeah, I, I, I will watch it. At the moment, I'm just utilising Now TV while we have it for The Last of Us. So I'll this be watching fair. all the stuff that I can only watch there. Yeah, there's a few things I want to watch. Yeah, and then I'll... Uh, and then I'll. At least we now know that it, if you're watching it and I hit play, it's not going to completely... Fuck me up, yeah. I didn't even consider that. I saw it was a bit about, ah, fuck it. <laughs> I went from the beginning, now <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> the only reason I was just like, hmm, is because I went on and it said, uh, continue, 32 minutes remaining. So you were to mm. pause for someone somewhere. Yeah. yeah, so I was just like, it might be on pause, but if you've come out of the menu, if you've come out of it to then yeah, go yeah, back yeah. to it later, your point would have been I mean, forgot. I'm sure. going to make sure to never do that with this because that watching it all may be a thing. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to do it in one sitting each time. So. Yeah. If, I, if I can watch most of the last seasons of Stranger Things in one day, I can watch the last of an episode last week in one sitting. <laughs> I watch. I so when I say I'm going to utilize. Um, utilize uh, now tv i have already watched a show and a half good man nice i have not i've uh, i've back wa- i watched all of peacemaker again <laughs> uh, is that the a, dc thing yeah in a, it's fucking excellent it's i just watched because it, it's like, dc i half don't believe you purely because it's dc but it's also just james gunn like, I know he yeah. did The Suicide Squad, and it's a sequel to The Suicide Squad, specifically. Oh, I haven't even seen that. Um, it gives you everything you need to know from The Suicide Squad. You don't need to watch the movie. But it's so... It's just so funny. And also, I talk about the series, like, John Dies at the End a lot. It's not the same, but in terms of general vibes... Mm-hmm. That's probably the closest thing I've ever seen to it. And then watch it and understand why I like it so much. I know uh, Sammy doesn't like it, but Sammy is wrong. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I've just realised we should have had a prop out for this. It's probably a bit late now. You're a bit late now. And that's going to fall. Oh, it didn't fall over. Okay. No. <laughs> is there anything else either of you would like to add? about The Last of Us on Hubo or Now TV if you want to, you want to be British mm. Sky Atlantic I love the music uh, I love the way it looks I love the fucking design of everything oh, I love it I try to learn it properly but it's so hard it's fucking hard, it's hard isn't it and real it fucking the, hard I learned it on the ukulele oh. you did learn it on the ukulele I've probably forgotten it now yeah, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky wiki. I have nothing else to say. No, you know how much I fucking love this. Uh, I, can we decide? Are we doing this every week? Or are we going to wait I think now? it's hard to say. I mean, I want to. <laughs> because we can, and I think there probably will be enough to talk about. Yeah. But it's hard to say until we've seen the next episode. Yeah. I mean, I want to. That's all I'm saying. We'll pencil it in. If we watch it and go, we have not, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah, we can change your minds. We yeah. can just change your minds. But we'll I'll pencil come back in. a couple of them. Sure. Currently, I want to do this every week. Yeah, yeah. There is one week on miss because I'm in France. Uh, it's probably easier to just not that week then. But you, it's the second to last episode that I would, no, I'm not here for. I see. That's, That's typically the best episode of HBO shows. Mm. I mean, I'm going to still, I mean, I watch it at the time. I'll still end up watching. No, I will watch it because we don't, we leave after it's aired so I'll be able to watch it <laughs> and we get back the day the final finale airs I think oh no the day before the finale airs Ooh. so I'll be able to watch it I just won't be here for the show are we under the imp- yeah we are under the impression that 
this series is the entirety of the first yes, game. Yes, they confirmed yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so That's Neil, also from Neil, Druck, Neil Druckmann off. confirmed that season one is the events of the first game. If a season two does get greenlit, that'll be the events of the second game, and then they're not doing anything else. It's I be longer, you know? think it would either be a longer series or, or they'll do it as season two, two and seasons, and yeah. two yeah. and three. Yeah. For, oh, could you part imagine two, where that we know full well where they would fucking leave that, though? I know exactly where it's me off. So I'd rather they just do a long season. I'm waking like two years. Yeah. I had to wait eight nanoseconds in the in the game when it happened. I'm not waiting a year at minimum. <laughs> that because we, we know where that would end. We are yeah, right. I think we are on the same page. We'll talk about it off air. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yes, that's what. And then he said explicitly, "We're not doing anything past the games. It's not just something they're going to randomly make up story for." Like good. So. But that does mean, you know, if the if Factions has got sensible story to sell, that might be something they can expand on. And oh, yeah, if Part 3 factions, does ever materialise, that might be something that they then I, expand on. But in terms of a show, I think they would probably just stick to... The mainline game? Yeah, I mean, it, it fully depends on what the story is they tell in Factions, factions I guess. We're we don't know. We're going to buy Factions, aren't we? It's not going to be like an We don't know. We don't know. know nothing factions. about it. Here's what we know. It's happening. Hmm. That's it. It's literally enough. It's probably not it's even called of Factions. Yeah. We, it's multiplayer. We, yeah, as a matter of fact. We don't know fact, what it's called. Factions yeah, is Because they've Naughty Dog have never said that. We've just decided it's called because Factions. But oh. Last of Us multiplayer, and in the first game, Last of Us multiplayer was called Factions. Yeah, Maybe I'm finally get my build DLC that I've always wanted. <laughs> Maybe. To be fair, there are many stories that I want to know. I, I want, but I want them to come from Neil. I don't yes. want these. Um, did Telltale do some Last of Us stuff? They did not. No. Thank Christ. God, yeah. <laughs> they did some Walking Dead stuff. They yeah. did Walking Dead. And The Walking Dead was pretty good. It was good. It was good. Um, Wolf Among Us was good too. There's know. a comic book though. You might be thinking of that. There's a Last of Us comic. There is. There is. Yeah, comic. that's worth There's reading. There's a Last of Us comic. Read. Um, but like, I would like just probably not a game, but like, if Neil Druckmann wrote a book. Oh yeah. Of, oh yeah. Like the twenty years. Yep. Joel in the twenty years. Yep, I'd have that. I'd Happily. be all over it. Yeah. Hundred percent. I'd be all fucking over it. Mm. Or even, oh, oh, Hannah, yeah. you did kind of say, but just out of interest, what was your impressions so far before we wrap up? What was your thoughts? Because you're here every week, but and we talk about this fucking franchise all the time at you, and you know nothing about it. So I'm intrigued. Oh, she knows better by now. Hmm? She knows better by now. No, but yeah. <laughs> she knows nothing ahead of this. One of the worst things mm-hmm. ever did was go, should we get Charlie on more often? <laughs> 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 there was a agree. Also, knowing my luck, Hannah's probably gone at this point. She's probably like noped out from here. She's like, oh, they've been going for an hour forty-five. Hannah, I'm out. Can't say I blame her. No, I don't know. I'm surprised. Oh, she's just on the corner. She's gonna knock on the door and ask her in the middle of the night. Yeah, it's a long way from me. Ah, <laughs> oh, it fell over. <sighs> Thought it was great. Was expecting zombies, not fungus. Pascal's too old to be thirty-six and young to be fifty-six. I mean, yeah, he's in his 40s, isn't he? He's 47, yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, you've got that right. Why not? <laughs> no, he's obviously, he's 36 in the... Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 I know. I know. I know. Uh, he probably, yeah, he's probably too old to be 36. I, he probably looks too old to be 36 and 20 years on English. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's a builder that seemingly works 20-hour days. Maybe he's just... Throwing dead terrible. children into fires yeah, and then he's, shoveling their ashes. Yeah, he's just a tough paper. Makes right? you look young. No. It's good for your skin, the ash, like the ash the, dust. Uh, yeah, it's just the nothing's happened to his skin. Also, Gabriel Luna is very. I know we haven't seen him in detail, the present day. Yet. Oh yeah, um, but uh, I imagine because he's a young-looking dude. He is. So yeah, he's asked Crater. Yes, thank well, you. Yeah, he's played by like Michael Gambon in the next episode. So yeah, he's, he ages a lot. Yeah, he's not only aged <laughs> like. He's become very pale. Yeah, he's a completely different person. Yeah. And he's just going to appear going, <laughs> <laughs> Are you shut him? She got him. Yeah. Let's. I don't do rigmaroles. No, but you do coming up on the channel. I do coming up on the channel. I'm so confused on today. <laughs> You've done it again. <laughs> Chris is thinking tomorrow there will be another stream there will be another stream rich is doing his gaming stream he will be playing proteus once more with sammy and saf and it will 
have his new setup and all glorious visuals. Um, so uh, check that. And it reminds out. me, you have to see Rich, sexy man. Rich reminds me. At some point, I really want to touch base with you on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so make sure and you, check you that out. actually. I'll do that with you in a minute. Um, I didn't think of it like that until I said it. <laughs> so make sure to ch- come by, check that out, and see his new sexy setup. Um, I will certainly be popping by in the chat. Um, do you know what I've done amongst all of these things? I've f- forgotten to watch uh, Winter Soldier on I, Saturday. I am having to watch it tomorrow. Is the only I, time uh, I that's, that's what Sorry, I'm having Rich. to do as well. Sorry. Um, but I will probably split it up either side of the stream I'll be able to watch most of it pre-stream so that should be fine um, Kaus sorry Kaus indeed oh god I'm looking forward to it <laughs> you look so confused I'm pissed looking, off Charlie <laughs> I'm looking forward to it yeah I'm looking forward to it I can't wait because uh, it's fucking one of the prettiest Winter looking Soldier. ones as well oh, really? yeah. so Saturday we will be back for admin one to talk about Captain America and the Winter Soldier we'll be ranking and reviewing that and then after we will be doing the press start special games of our lives. Ghoul. Ghoul for Halo 3. Rich and I will be talking about all the different things we love about Halo 3. The memories of it's playing game. In, our, in our youth. Uh, well, my well, youth. I was going to say, you're not Rich's youth. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I've just said, Rich, that I will be there. I will be watching Winter Soldier before. For the most part, and then afterwards. In my defence, <laughs> in my defence, I'm never there for the gaming streams. No, I'm not really. It's because you both suck. And I'm you very supportive. And I don't see how that's relevant. <laughs> it's because I don't have many free nights to do the relevant research exactly. for the show the next day. <laughs> I was jesting. I was jesting. Um, I'm always, I'm, yeah, that's true. That's true. Ooh. But anyway, that's what's coming up <laughs> on the channel. Next week, yeah, we're sure we'll be back to talk about Last of Us episode two, I would imagine. And yeah. so on and so on and so on and so on. And then, after The Last of Us, is immediately episode 200. So, <laughs> so we've got some thinking to do. We've triple counted as well. We have triple counted. Well, so Thor The Dark World was episode 181. Yeah, this is 182. Yes, exactly. So there's nine... Last of Us, yeah. which means that there will also be nine Marvel movies, which yeah. is 18, which is 199. So Got the you. one after that Me is 200. 200. I wonder what Marvel movie that adds up to. It'll be in 10 movies' time. Yeah, but which one's that? We'll figure it out in a minute. We will. God, I hope it's like a good one. God, imagine if it's Guardians 2. I recommend <laughs> we t- skip a week and do 200, because I don't want 200 to be I, sullied. No, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. By uh, Last of Us 2. The Last of Us is going to throw us, throw us out because without you we'd have had two hundred around Jack's birthday. <sighs> Wait, what? Doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. If we weren't doing The Last of Us, episode two hundred would have been around where your birthday is. My Eight. birthday isn't in eighteen weeks. Probably is. What's the date in eighteen weeks? It's May. Oh, then so it's off. It's the 25th of May, and my birthday yeah, is in the middle of June. So like three weeks later. Yeah. Quite close. I'd say it's, a, yeah, it's not quite around your birthday. I agree. Well, when it comes to a weekly podcast... The same distance yeah, mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say you've got a couple of weeks to go, so yeah, yeah. When it comes to a weekly podcast, unless it's smack in the middle of two episodes, that is around. Yeah, I, it's fair. <laughs> I agree. Um, so, um, No. Anyway, keep going, because we've been doing this in eight yeah, hours now. Yeah, let's go. That's what's coming up on the channel. I like garlic bread, and this is the Dabbit <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you for joining. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Well, I won't. Really. When you're, see you on Saturday. When you're lost in the darkness... <laughs>